Good morning, you beauties. Welcome to it today. Might just be the best day of your life. You it don't know. True. It's an true. open, open oh, yeah. set. I love it. Good What's morning, up, gentlemen. How are we hanging? doing? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I would never leave you hanging. <laughs> you know what? I'd never leave a man in this shirt hanging. No this one can. It's Come possible. On, no, nature it's possible. shirt on, bros. I'm ready for this great. day. I cannot wait. Yeah. Oh, I hope you're ready for this day because you're in for the most, my I friend. I am, man. Indeed. It is a midweek on your feel-good breakfast oh. show, so that means, uh, you know what it means. It's the culinary highlight, bleed! Ding, ding, ding! Yes. And this one is brought along with a, uh, well, Chef Glim's actually brought along a friend dietitian mm. going by the name of Inga to bring us some detox-friendly recipes. This is perfect for the occasion. I love it. Now, I've done a deep dive into this kind of world myself, or mm. certain elements of it, um, and we are going to be doing a deep dive into various elements that can be really helpful, like cupping. Ooh. This guy over here is going to be putting himself... Is he going to do that? Most. He is. He's going to do exactly that. Yeah. I, I'm doing that. Yeah. We, we spun oh. a wheel. Oh, okay. We spun a wheel, <laughs> and you are the guy who's going to be doing it. Um, it's going to be interesting uh, to watch, certainly even more to experience. Well, OK, well, Lovely. nice surprise, detoxing. but I'm here for it then. <laughs> so detoxing also includes some detoxing ideas and concepts. Mm. Now, I know Ooh, this I sounds like weird, okay. but there are bars that are actually alcohol-free bars. They're called Ooh. sober bars, and you can nice. find a few of them around Cape yes. Town. And that's why we need to investigate that's these cool. bars and, and find out why there is such magic in them, you know? I love this. I absolutely right? love that, man. Mm. Oh, and then, of course, really cool. um, it really is. And then we've got a detox, I suppose, our ears and brains yes, and emotional please. center. And we do it with amazing music. And we've got a brilliant performance coming your way. It's the Drum Struck Band. It's gonna don't say that fast five times, okay? They are phenomenal. They've got the right kind of energy. They are perfect for your feel-good kickstart to your day. So I think officially let's get it underway and hand over to the real experts being you guys at home. Yeah, of course, while we do that, Kalitas, you've got some uh, business to prep for, of course. Official duties will commence in just a bit, but before we do that, right, we've got to chat to you, Mzanzi. Always chatting to you this morning. We've got a good morning post wanting to come through with those uh, numbers. And obviously today, after a festive season filled with indulging, oh, it's time for a detox, as you've clearly heard. So what is your go-to when wanting to clean out your system. Please share your advice, come through with some tips, and the voice notes will keep flowing throughout the morning. 063-408-8863. You got any detox tips, Ross? Um, I, I suppose over the years we try it. I know that I've had the most extreme reaction from a juice diet, oh, doing yeah. that for like four or five days. Mm. Um, you know, where you go with the green or the red juice, that kind of vibe. The green juice, she kicks. Um, but <laughs> there are so many of those sorts of kind of um, old wives' tales, those um, kind of recipes, things that have been handed down through the family. There's a reason why they stick around, because they actually work. That's what we want to tap into this morning. Help us detox after a bit of a crazy festive season, and then we'll start indulging all over again today. Why? Because it's the culinary art. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yes. Uh, no, we are here for that, and we are here for you. So let's serve you with the information that you need to get you sorted for your day. Then I'll delve into those sporting headlines. Time for news and a feel good breakfast show, and let's start nationally. The Automobile Association is concerned about filling stations allegedly selling contaminated fuel to consumers. This after contaminated diesel was found at 70 filling stations in the country. The contaminated diesel was allegedly mixed with illuminated paraffin to avoid paying fuel levy and the road accident fund. AA spokesperson Leighton Beard says the impact this has on vehicles is immense and consumers can only detect it in the long run. He didn't discount the possibility that petrol stations are not aware that the fuel they obtain from suppliers is contaminated. Now, the Minister of Electricity, Josiencia Ramachopa, has reported notable improvements in the country's power system, crediting the advancements to meticulous planned maintenance. He highlighted a lower-than-targeted rate of unplanned capacity loss, remaining below an ESCOM's threshold of 14,000 megawatts due to unit failures. Speaking to members of the media in Pretoria, Ramachopa discussed the nation's energy plan, emphasizing the positive impact of proactive measures in enhancing the reliability of the power grid. Now on to international news, seven miners, including two Chinese nationals, have been trapped in a flooded mine in Zambia's Copper Belt province since Monday. The incident occurred at the Chinese-owned Macrolink copper mine in Ndola. A rescue efforts are underway with the Chinese embassy in Zambia mobilizing specialists. Macrolink has temporarily suspended operations. This incident follows a recent tragedy when landslides buried miners uh, at the Seseli mine in Zambia with the fate of some 30 missing miners still unknown after rescue efforts proved unsuccessful. 
Now, the doomsday clock symbolizing the world's proximity to nuclear catastrophe will remain at 90 seconds to midnight. Factors such as the threat of a new nuclear arms race, the Ukraine conflict and climate change concerns contributed to this decision by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. China, Russia and the U.S. investing heavily in nuclear arsenals, the Ukraine's war risk of nuclear escalation, climate inaction and potential misuse of emerging technologies and AI were highlighted. Since 2007, the clock considers man-made risks such as AI and climate change. And finally, some controversial news, but Oscar news nonetheless. Oscar nominations, they're out. Despite garnering eight Oscar nominations, the blockbuster Barbie has experienced notable snubs for lead Margot Robbie and director Greta Gerwig. As the highest grossing film of 2023, raking in some $1.44 billion globally, expectations were high for them in their respective categories. However, Ryan Gosling secured a Best Supporting Actor nod and two soundtrack entries earned nominations for Best Original Song. Oppenheimer dominates with 30 nominations featuring acting nods from uh, Killian Murphy as well as Emily Blunt and Robert Downey Jr. along with a Best Director nomination for Christopher Nolan. Other contenders include Poor Things with 11 Killers of the Flower Moon with 10 and Maestro with 7 nominations. Jimmy Kimmel will host the Oscars ceremony that'll be on the 10th of March in Los Angeles. That's it for your news for now. I've got another update for you in one hour. Let's take a look at your sporting action. Here's Graham. High stakes football on offer as we turn to our continental action first. And Cameroon, they secured their spot in the round of 16 and did it dramatically in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations with a 3-2 victory over Gambia at the Stade de la Pai. So the high stakes fixture saw Cameroon needing to win to advance. As simple as that. And coach Rigobert Song made some headlines by dropping star goalkeeper Andre Onana for um, the fixture. And the victory obviously ensures Cameroon's automatic qualification for the round of 16 with a second place finish in their group C. Now let's turn to uh, rugby a little further afield. England's preparations for the Six Nations opener against Italy. They've been marred by setbacks as midfield backs Ollie Lawrence and Oscar Beard along with hooker Luke Cowan Dickey withdrew from the squad due to injuries. Now Beard he suffered a concussion. Cowan Dickey left the field in sales defeat by Laura Shell due to an undisclosed medical condition at this time and then Lawrence's specific injury details yet to be disclosed but they are out. The England head into a pre-tournament training camp after or ahead of their Six Nations campaign opener against Italy as I said on the 3rd of next month. Then an English uh, connection, but this time in cricket. In England, they showcased some strong form in the ICC Men's Under-19 World Cup with a ultimately comfortable 36-run win over the Proteas Under-19 team. That was in their Group B clash in Potchefstroom. The match was interrupted by a lightning threat at one point, followed then by rain forcing the players off the field. At the break, England were comfortably placed, 137 for two in pursuit of 231 run as their target. And with uh, this victory, England now lead Group B with four points from their two matches so far. Now getting into the shorter format of the game, the Durban Super Giants, they secured a bonus point victory, defeating MI Cape Town by 36 runs in their SA20 match at Newlands in Cape Town yesterday. So choosing to bat first, the Super Giants, they faced some early challenges from George Linda and Thomas Cabers, spin bowling really on point. However, a solid 48 from Matthew Bretzka and an explosive unbeaten 38 from Vian Mulder helped them post a very competitive total, 156 for six in the overs that they had. In response, Cape Town struggled, eventually collapsing to 121 for nine. So the win propels DSG to second place in the table behind the Paul Royals. And they'll continue to talk a little bit of sport on the other side of this, but right now, brand new day. It's hump day. Let's see what the weather has in store for us. Thank you so much, G-Man. Yes, let's dive into weather news first up. And the SA Weather Service has issued a warning for elevated temperatures across several regions today. Now, in the Cape Winans, the Central and Little Karoo in the Western Cape, maximum temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius are anticipated. Now, uncomfortably hot conditions are expected in various areas of the Western Cape and the interior of Namakwa in the Northern Cape. 
Now, the interior of the Eastern Cape is set for a heat wave with persistent high temperatures. And additionally, heightened fire risks are forecasted for the Namakwa District, the West Coast District, the Cape Winelands, and the Central Karoo, extending to the Dr. Bayers Nordia local municipality and the Inkluba Yatemba local municipality in the Eastern Cape. Well, from our weather news, we dive into our favorite part of the morning. That's our sunrise view of the hour. And this one was sent in by Azalea, all the way from Pearly Beach. And it is a very abstract shot indeed. Just pointing it up at the clouds, and they look like candy floss. Pink, fluffy, and everything beautiful that we love to see. Thank you so much for sharing this shot. The number is 063-408-8860. Keep it coming. We'll do it all again in the next hour and hopefully showcase your sunrise view. But for now, though, let's see what temperatures you can expect on your side of town. Spare thought. Uh, for Worcester <laughs> and Uppington, uh, 39 in Worcester and 40 in Uppington. Ding, ding, ding. You are the winner. Congratulations. Now, please stay hydrated, stay safe out there. Just stay indoors, actually. Yep. Don't even go out there if it's hot like that. And, of course, a little bit of heat now on Bafana Bafana. We are now very focused on getting into the round of 16 in AFCON 2023-24. And, of course, we've got to get over to Nizia tonight. And Lorenzo will bring us all the details what we need to watch out for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I know it's a bit of a stretch for Bafana Bafana, but if that's the case, they need Pilates. Yes, of And course. we have Pilates for you. That's why the muscles. Leanne Penny is going to be here to take us through a lovely workout. So if you're on the mood to stretch things out ahead of Bafana Bafana this evening, stick with us. You feel good breakfast show.
Welcome back as we talk a little footy. And, of course, Bafana Bafana and Tunisia will be locking horns tonight in their Group E clash in the Africa Cup of Nations. Both teams will know that only a win will do to help them qualify for the round of 16. A lot more pressure on Tunisia, albeit. And Bafana occupying second spot with three points on the log. Tunisia languishing down in fourth with just one solitary point. And that says a wounded beast to be here to chat about tonight's uh, crucial encounter is our sports producer, Lorenzo Dari. Hello. Uh, we as love it. Nervous as uh, I am. Yeah, I'm terrified a little bit because <laughs> I, I mean I know Tunisia have been humbled in this yeah. competition, which makes me even more scared because yes. they've got some gravitas. This is a team that has a lot of experience on the stage. Yeah. They're kind of the leading lights, really. When we look at one of the leading lights, yeah. what hasn't worked for them up to this point is that a flash in the pan when you drop four 0 to a much lesser side. Is that something we should yeah. fear? or take confidence from. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened in or against Namibia. They they completely, their composure was not there. They looked like a team that came into the tournament with no defense. They they didn't prepare. They You know, you didn't do your homework yeah. on your opponents. And it was quite worrisome because they're the third best team in the, um, or on the on African the seating, continent. Yeah. Remember that um, they did quite well the last few years. In and it, it always feels like that final quarter when we can piece together and we always seem to have a, a great kind of build. Our counter-attacking yeah. is on point Ag at the agree moment, 100%. which I love that style of play. Yeah. This Bafana team is dialed in. No, definitely. And I was listening to, to the commentators in the previous game and with Temba Zwane, and they were like, the coach has made a mistake, but he has rectified himself by bringing <laughs> him back into the team. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The fans have been calling for him, and then he comes back and he, he scores a brace. Percy Tao getting, you know, the goal after what happened with uh, Mali and getting the three points instead of the one point. <laughs> um, so it was a bit of a struggle for him, but I think that counter-attacking moments that Bafana Bafana had was um, reminiscent of um, Sipiwa Shabalala in the yeah. um, opening game of the 2010 World Cup oh, against please, Mexico. Let, let us see a hurler <laughs> like that land tonight. But just, but just the coming back and getting that ball and, and composing themselves at the back and then just playing it through and looking for those gaps, I think that um, they'll take all of that confidence of that 4-0 throbbing of, of Namibia and then need to close down the midfield. So what's going to happen is if, we, if they close down where we don't get our ball to our forwards, to our right wings, then, then we could struggle, right? Everywhere else watching the Namibia game, I was happy with it. Yeah. I just felt that we controlled the pace. We, we let them come into our space, but then we were like, cool, we come here, yeah, enjoy this. And then we just ready. counted yeah. and, and we, we caught them off guard because they would have, their players were playing so deep in. And, and I think that's going to be the case with Tunisia as well. But Tunisia does play a little bit different. We saw against Mali, they, they were a, a complete team. They just could not break that wall. That was the difference. Yeah, once again, we reiterate, don't be overconfident <laughs> going into yeah. this side. Like you say, the third best team on the continent. They're yet yeah. to prove their chops. Some big names potentially out of the, the competition at this stage. Ivory Coast, I mean, probably one of the biggest. They had an opportunity yeah. as the host to do something truly remarkable. This has been a surprising AFCON. Yes. Who do you see as being the out-and-out -out favorites? Or, or how are you feeling about who's going through to the round of 16 and who's going to make their mark? Senegal definitely going through, um, doing quite well. Well, uh, unfortunate with Egypt as well. Uh, huge controversy there because Mo Salah has uh, flown back to Liverpool. Uh, the Egyptian Federation did not want to get that information out there. They wanted to <laughs> kind of keep it to themselves. And then Jürgen Klopp came out and said, nope. He's back, you know, baby. He's back. Yeah. We, we're going to take him in. Um, and then, yeah, Ivory Coast as the host. You'd never want to see the host fall out quite early. And they're struggling at the moment. They're on the brink of elimination. But I think that for us at the moment, what we should be doing is just backing Bafana Bafana. Yeah. We need everyone just watching, everyone going on social, sending their messages and just letting them know we fully support them. We want them to go through and we want them to win this as well. And, and all we need is just one point, man. We just <laughs> need that one South African point to see us through. Now, Bafana looking a lot better than Tunisia, sitting second on their uh, group standings at the moment. But that says to me a desperate Tunisia tonight. And the encounter kicking off at 6 o'clock. The coverage right here on SABC Sport. Take up every opportunity to support your national team. And when it's free to air, even better. Enjoy.
Oh, yes, there's so much to look forward to right there and right here, right now, because we are about to embark on a transformative journey, and that's to strengthen our core, improve our flexibility, and enhance our overall well-being, and that's with an invigorating Pilates workout. Yes, it's happening right now, and joining us today is Pilates instructor and owner of KVPS, Leanne Penny in the building. Leanne, how are you doing this morning? Good, thanks. Thanks uh, for having me on, Ron. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I know Pilates, in my opinion, personally, I'm going to say that everybody should be doing it. Absolutely. An athlete, someone starting their journey, there's so much that you can benefit from Pilates. It hits all those incredible lines of the body. So I'm going to leave it up to you. You're the expert here. And I'm just going to stand you being excited like a kid in a candy store. Awesome. I'm glad <laughs> to hear that. As you said, Pilates is great for everybody, yeah. no matter what age you are. So we're going to start off with our latex band, which is called a TheraBand. It's a resistant band. Just grab the two loose ends. We're going to hold onto it like two ski poles. Okay. What I'm going to do is ask you to stand on it with feet hip distance apart and then getting a bit of tension on the band. And then we're just going to pull your shoulders down and extend both arms forward. I want you to do this just to feel your awareness of your shoulder stabilization mm. and your lats. Cool. And then pull it straight back so you can feel your triceps. Just mind that you're not leaning forward, chin up. Now we're gonna alternate between one arm forward, one arm back. And I want you to just keep your torso nice and square. So this is something that you do normally if you were just walking, but just to keep awareness without having tension in the neck or the shoulders, and just to bring your awareness to your lat stabilization. Those are the muscles underneath your armpits. Yeah, it's right. yeah everything's fine that? right now. The lats are engaged, but yeah. the shoulders are still burning. I must say, yeah, triceps too. So right. as much as it's a warm-up, it feels like an actual exercise too. This is ah. great. It's very misleading, the Pilates. People often think, oh, you know, they're not really doing much. But if you're doing it with focused intention and intensity, Pilates works on mind-body connection. So we're going to oh, end off yes, with that please. one. And then we will just release it. I'm going to ask you to come down onto the mat. We're going to grab a little blue ball. All right. Great. Feet are hip distance apart. You're going to hold on to a little blue ball. Tummy tight, you're going to curl your tailbone and you're going to roll all the way down. When you get down, just bring your feet a little closer. We're going to take a breath in. Exhale to, whoopsie. I'm <laughs> stuck with the thing behind oh. me. Holding it there. We'll keep it there for today. And we're just going to reach over and over. Five, keeping your legs still. Four, great. Three, two, good. Working those abs and working your obliques. One more, and relax. Ooh, good. All right. So now we're going to turn and face one another. Okay. How good are you at planking? Um, it depends which kind, because I know uh, when it comes to Pilates, there's various kinds of planking that you do <laughs> get, so okay, it's gonna, always humbling. I'm going to do the side plank. So remember that lat connection we just did? Yeah. So elbow underneath you, legs on top. We can cross the top leg over. You're going to contract your waist. You can put your hand over here and you're going to lift the hips, tighten and hold it there. Ooh. Excellent. Proper and stimulation in that oblique area, yeah, right? So you're going to feel it narrowing and tightening and lift. Good. And you would do one more. And we're going to lift the arm up. Lift. Holding in there for four, three, two, one, and release. So obviously we nice. could do that on the other side, yeah. but I don't know how you're feeling. Uh, I'm feeling good. I think we can definitely jam in another side. Okay, I think for the well, sake of balance, let's definitely do the, do the other side. side right now. And I think there's a couple people at home trying to follow along, so let's yeah. not throw them off. So again, Cross using... Cross over, yeah. so you can either keep the hand here, or, or if you want to show there. off over there. Let's, let's try show okay. off on TV. <laughs> <laughs> let's All right. go for it. And contract the waist, lifting up, oh. holding it there. Excellent, really nice shoulder placement down. I love how I mentioned the obliques earlier, but I'm also feeling stabilization Abs coming through in the shoulder. Yeah. The lat has to be engaged, and of course the core too. So core. this is almost like a full body in a way, at least yeah. most of the upper body and the hip region. So this is great. Absolutely, core is the most fundamental. So you're going to lift and hold it there. Ooh. Excellent, nice form. One more time, and lift. Very good, I'm impressed. Oh. And coming down, well done. Oh, Leanne, that was absolutely incredible stuff. I'm feeling like not only has the rust started to fall off the body, <laughs> but it's also invigorating the heartbeat, so that's yes. increased. And I'm getting some good muscle stimulation on top of this. I can see possibly adding these exercises and incorporating into more like sets. You can make a little workout of yes, this, right? Yes, absolutely. So the Pilates, we work in short sets. 
So getting that mind-body connection, not repeating a million times. You can do 10 really excellent ones. It's far better than doing 100 bad ones. So, oh, look, we definitely yeah. earned that one. So I'm going to pass oh, this over to you. you so uh, I think we can earn ourselves a cheers moment. <laughs> thank you for coming through. Thank you for yes. serving us and definitely assisting us in getting our bodies to transform this yes. year and really tackle our goals. Cheers Thanks to that. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, Mzanzi, you want some of this magic? Reach out to Leanne online. She's got incredible work that can inspire you to move and get your goals slayed. <laughs> Beautiful. You crushed it. Well done, Raul. And thank you so much, Leanne. Pilates is such a great way of detoxing the body in a way. In fact, we're going to continue that theme because we're going to discuss the benefits when it comes to cupping and detoxing. So we're going to be cupping on with that a little bit later, plus a digestive health smoothie. We've got a recipe for you. So make sure you stay there at your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso at S3 and discover the ancient art of cupping, a therapeutic practice rooted in Chinese and Middle Eastern medicine. As we focus on detoxing this morning, we delve into the myriad of benefits of cupping, exploring techniques like dry cupping, wet cupping, and more for enhanced well-being. So don't worry about that. We've got you covered. We've got some experts coming in soon. Have you tried cupping before, though? I have, actually, and? man. And I've been uh, also diving into some research on it to find out if it is actually that beneficial. Yeah. I've seen my own things that tell me that this kind of could be good, but we've got the professionals in here, so of I'm hoping we to do. actually really debunk a few myths on this and really find out if this is what it is all about. So joining us yeah. is the founder of No Way Premium Wellness and Slimming, Dilshad Park in the building, as well as a massage and beauty therapist, Melody Jack, which we'll meet a little bit later, because yep. we are going to practically put this pr uh, proof in the pudding and see if it actually tastes that good. I'm talking about cupping still, <laughs> just, just by the way. So good morning, Dilshad. How are you doing? I'm well, and yourself? Yeah, we are good. wonderful. I think... <laughs> I'm like the only one that, that hasn't tried cupping yet. Tried so cupping? you and Graham have tried cupping. Though. I'm going to give it a shot uh, very, very soon. But, you know, we have to talk about this because yeah, I think that when you see anything like this, yeah. it is a bit daunting looking yeah. at it, yeah. watching those cups like sucking the flesh <laughs> out of you and you're like, Not what is flesh. going on? I <laughs> but it's, but I, think that, I think you need to understand if you look at that picture on your screen now, like what is cupping actually doing? Okay. So basically... Before we start, there's various types of, of yes. cupping. There's facial cupping, there's dry cupping, which is the one that we're going to demonstrate. Yes. We've got wet cupping as well. So wet cupping can be called hajima as well as toxin removal. So that's the difference. And in terms of the processes, it also varies for, it, for, for each. Yeah. Uh, cupping is safe, non-invasive, economical, and helps prevent... Um, uh, helps with diseases, preventing yes. diseases and as curing them as well. 
So basically, it's been highly recommended. All the feedback we've been receiving from our clients and online as well. Wow. It's like it's very beneficial to, to be doing. Okay, I like this because I wasn't aware that we were different types of cupping, yes, right? So absolutely. you mentioned obviously dry, which we're going to start experimenting Ijama. with today. Ijama. And then there's also wet cupping, right? So basically, it's the same. Okay. Ijama, wet cupping, as well as... Um, yeah. Toxin removal is yes. basically okay. the same thing. Okay, okay. cool. So, the, uh, but, but uh, with that, the hijama, the toxin removal, it, it includes the cutting of the. Of oh, I've of the I see, I see that. And that's yeah. I want to try that one. The, where, the, where the toxins are drawn and it sucks into the cup. And then, based on the color of the of the blood that's been sucked from the cup, we'll be able to under, identify if there's any major issues that's and discuss crazy. it with our clients. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> you understand why I want to do this so badly? Like yeah. this, it sounds incredible. So let's just look at the the cupping after effects. I think that when you see them, a lot of the international athletes, even some of my own athletes that I work yeah. with, they've yeah. got the big bruises on their backs. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean that's it looks aina when you see it, it though. It's, it's not. It's, but I it's not it's because not. it's just you've drawn it's some blood to the surface, right? So yeah. uh, what can you expect after cupping? Uh, after cupping, basically, you'll feel a bit uh, uh, lethargic, um, but what is recommended, stay hydrated, drink plenty of fluid. Okay. Um, not excessive exercise for at least three hours after, after the treatment. Um, not to shower about 24 hours after the treatment because remember there's small incisions and you don't want to cause an infection. That makes sense. Okay, and um, eat healthy meals, light meals, some, some that's rich in protein as well. Mm. Um, and do a, a light it exercises, nothing hectic, and nothing stressful after a few hours okay. after the actual That makes sense, circulation, just to get just everything to going, get the yeah, body back to level. Back to level. Yeah. I love that, so maybe more importantly for me is, I, I see this as something that is very beneficial and sometimes you can do too much of anything, right? Too much yeah. of anything, I think, is just, there, there needs to be balance. <laughs> How much of this can we do? Because I'm okay. all about recovery and fast-tracking that so yeah. we can increase our performance. Yeah. Is there a limit to how much you can do uh, cupping well, or how with often? dry cupping, you can do it any amount of times you want to do it, okay? But you can also use the suction with dry cupping. With wet cupping, when you get to the point of the cutting, Yes. Depends on what you're coming for. If you're coming with a specific issue to me and it's uh, quite intense, the pain is quite intense, um, you will be going for the medical uh, cupping session. And medical cupping sessions is uh, recommended every once every third week for a period of three months. Okay. As with normal hijama cupping, it's uh, a recommended time frame is between three to four months, once every three to four months. Okay. But general dry cupping can do any, t any, any time of the, whenever you feel the body needs it, yeah. Just a, right. a quick one, who shouldn't be cupping? I feel like That's it's important bit, yeah. for, you know, so, so who shouldn't be trying this treatment before we put, uh, put Raul on? Because I know he's done it before, but I'm not <laughs> sure I want to look after my friend. So who shouldn't be doing this? There's quite a host of people. People that's got heart problems, high blood pressure, for, for instance. People that has, is that it's diabetic. Yep. Cancer patients, they can, but with the, with the permission of the, um, yep. uh, from, uh, from the doctors as well. Pregnant women as well. Okay. Um, kids under the age of 17 cannot do a wet cupping. Okay. Um, there's quite a host of things. That's why we always encourage them to have seen the assessment or the medical history to, prior to the consultation yes. so that we can do a proper assessment in order to determine that whether you can or cannot do the cupping session. Okay. Uh, be, and that's for, uh, only applicable to the, to the uh, wet hijama cupping and not the dry cupping. Wow. Dry cupping, anyone can do. All right, so I think we're all excited you now. Cole, you <laughs> Cole's go. definitely got an educated, and I think uh, he's just upset that he's not getting a chance to try this out. But <laughs> I'll, I'll get a chance. I definitely am. I just want to make sure that I have my mindset correct for okay, this. Definitely. What is going on here? What should I expect later? Okay, so we've seen images of the wet cupping because quite that, is, yes. that process is quite longer. Yes, yes, but yes. But what Melody will demonstrate is the process of dry cupping. So it's basically just the circulation of the blood. Beautiful. And, and the using the suction cups to order to pull... A, the toxins of the of the, of right. the, of the up to the surface of the skin. I found yeah. how much toxins in me. Right? <laughs> you are oh. so good. You are not toxic at all. But Dilshad, thank you so much. We're looking forward yeah. to yeah. Raul getting his cupping session as we cup on on your feel good <laughs> breakfast show. All right, from uh, kind of the uh, most amazing hacks uh, from the outside perspective to those on the inside. From 2024, we have laid a marker down in the sand. This is going to be our year to prioritize our health and wellness. And a little bit earlier this week, we asked you guys at home what your food goals are for the year ahead. 
and we loved the positivity, the motivation in your answers. You came through strong, so thank you so much for that. In fact, let's connect with you right now and see what some of you had to say. Uh, Charmaine, thank you so much for weighing in. She said, good morning, drinking lots of water and healthy snacks. Love my yogurt as well. Thank you for the reminder. I love my yogurt as well. Uh, and it has to be double cream. I thank you so much, uh, Charmaine, for sending that one through. Rose saying, prepare meals that are not just healthy, but also taste great and good to go for my whole family. Now you are speaking my language. Um, and I think as a dad, when we make these kind of health improvements, these advancements, when we level up, you want to ensure that the whole family gets to benefit from that. I love it. Jeremy weighing in saying, my goal is to indulge in more vegetables and in-season fruit. I like the fact that you use the word indulge. And we are blessed in South Africa to get the best. Follow the season if you want to maximize that flavor. Yes, but the nutrients as well. And then Colleen weighing in saying, morning, eating more uh, pulses and veg and more kilometers walking already. Walking three days per week. Movement is key. What you're putting in is vital, but getting this piece of machinery up and moving is so, so important. Thank you so much for motivating us with those incredible little tips as well. I'm going to invite my man over here um, because yeah, we need a little bit of crunch. We need uh, some texture for our double cream. You were speaking about leveling up as well, so I thought, <laughs> let me do just that for you, bro. I'm going to come through and just uh, finish off this beautiful addition oh, of a snack that you, you got going on here, and let me get the finest pieces for you, bro. And, and that's all you need, really. So, buddy, what is, what is your focus? I know you're gonna. You're about to go through the cupping journey. Are you, are you ready for it? Are I you, think you I am. Said? I'm actually excited, man. Yeah. No. I mean, I think we both understand the benefits and and what it can mm. do for you if if used in the right way. From a nutritional perspective, where are you at at the moment? What big goals do you have? Hey, man, nothing huge at all. It's just keep the momentum that I had from last year. So for me, it's more about, if it was a goal, it's consistency yeah. and balance. I don't know if anybody realizes how important that is in this game and how for hard sure. that is to actually action. But if you can just tick those two boxes, I promise you, your fitness, your health journey, and everything you're targeting is going to be that much easier just based on having those two boxes ticked alone. Oh, completely. And it's the same sense of achievement. When you, when you can stay consistent and you are disciplined in that sense, little gains, just by not eating that meal then just by making the right choice it reinforces a All positive a win it really does and you mm. feed off that confidence that you get that validation buddy thank you you are the texture That's in my life way. my friend um, i'm yes. gonna go get excited for my coffee now. <laughs> uh, not, not as excited as us buddy <laughs> not as excited as us um yes yeah, so is going to be put through his paces in just a moment as he does now he's going to go through the cupping process and you'll see firsthand step by step but when we comes when it comes to putting into our bodies what we need that balance as well said is essential and healthy options lead to healthy choices. Make it easier for yourself. And if you stock up on the right kind of nutritious snacks and ingredients, you're already halfway towards achieving your healthy food goals. And of course, Clover have just released their brand new double cream plain yogurt range. It is amazing. And we've got the one kilogram tub and then the super convenient mini six pack that you can just pop into a lunchbox or your own lunchbox. Fantastic staple to have at home and to uh, carry with you throughout the day. And it really does make it so much easier so let's all keep up the good work and keep each other motivated and yes a little bit fuller for longer oh Raul you're my little angel dude thank you buddy double cream plain yogurt from clover just plain amazing all right, so coming up in your Feel Good Breakfast Show, you will get to see Cupping in action, and Ryle will be sent through his paces for this, although we have Tendai who will be just kind of taking us through. I have to do that because I've been learning all about these little cups that's happening. So here they are, and this is exactly what will be placed on Ryle's body a little bit later. Plus, if you want to get that detox going, we have a digestive health smoothie recipe for you. Chef Clem will take you through. So stay with us. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show.
Good morning and welcome to another Wednesday in the Espresso Kitchen. The phone lines are opening and we're taking all your phone calls, all your WhatsApp voice notes, which must mean it's the culinary hotline bling! Yeah. Now this morning we're focusing on everything detoxing. What is detox? What is detoxing? How do we detox? All these questions and we're opening up, like I said, the phone lines, but we also want to get your WhatsApp voice notes. So that magical number that you have to have saved in your phone already is 063-408-8863. And this morning we want to know if you have any questions about detoxing, any myths that you'd like to be debunked or any any practices that you follow to help you de detox, please send those voice notes through. Now, we brought the expert into the kitchen this morning. Annika, welcome to the kitchen. Thanks, it's good to be here. Very excited to have you in the kitchen this morning because I've got a lot of questions about detoxing. Right. So I think before we kick in with the questions, what are we actually making this morning? So this morning we're making a smoothie. I'm quite excited about it for various reasons. First being, I believe in not skipping breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's quite a, a modern type of smoothie where all the previous recipes would be laden with heavy carb fruits and stuff like that. So I'm very excited about the extra fiber uh -huh. and the plant-based proteins. I'm seeing one of my favorite ingredients, beans, okay? Yes. Uh, never seen it in a smoothie, so I'm very excited to try that this morning. So I think let's kick off with the smoothie. What, what, where does it all begin? How do we do this? It looks quite simple. Yes, so it, it could be, um, and it really depends uh, the consistency that you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, if you are someone that prefers a smoothie that you can just drink from the glass, or even with the straw, you'd add more of the liquids. Um, smoothie bowls are, however, quite satisfying as well. Right. Because, uh, I mean, some of us, we like to chew and, you know, just spend some time with the food um, that we are having. So what I usually recommend is starting with something like your milk or milk alternative um, and then adding the frozen butter beans. Is this coconut milk? It seems to be coconut milk, yeah. So it It's buttermilk, it's buttermilk, it's buttermilk. <laughs> Sorry, we should sniff before we speak. There we go. It's buttermilk, okay. So buttermilk, and, yeah. I, and I like that we're using buttermilk. Are we yeah. also using it not just for flavor, but because of the, the good bacteria that's in buttermilk? Absolutely. So um, fermented foods are great for gut health. Mm -hmm. um, it also maintains the uh, um, healthy bacteria in your gut. Um, and except for that, just, just really helps with balancing your body um, with regards to, um, as we are talking about today, detox, etc. Detoxing. Right. So let's get it all going. So do, can we go in with the liquid first? I would okay. say Okay, buttermilk so. goes in. Mm -hmm. And again, if you don't have buttermilk at home, the process to make it is quite easy. Just get milk and then add a little bit of lemon juice to it and let it just sit for a little bit and you'll see it start splitting. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how you get that, that, the fermenting process starting. Mm -hmm. Then I'm seeing, what, what have we got over here? So um, that could be cocoa, uh, or it could be something like a protein powder. Um, so what's interesting to me is, or something to keep in mind, is that the um, butter beans just give a very nice um, creamy consistency. In the you know um, old days, we would use frozen bananas. So this is replacing right. it. And depending on the protein you'd like to add, um, you could use things like cinnamon or cocoa to um, just enhance the flavor. Um, like I said, I think most people would find using butter beans or beans in a smoothie quite daunting. So, but the um, flavor is neutral. You're never going to mm -hmm. taste it and go, ooh, that tastes beany. No. So I like the fact that you're using that instead of banana, because banana, mm. I feel like it's there for the texture. Right. But sometimes the flavor does come through quite a lot, and especially yes. For people who don't like the flavor of banana, the exactly. butter beans are a great alternative. Yep. I'm switching to beans. Yes. Purely because of the protein that's in them. Absolutely. So I, I love that. And it's frozen. I see the beans have slightly been frozen, yes. as well as the blueberries and the strawberries. Right. I, I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Because instead of adding ice and diluting exactly. the flavor and the nutrients, yeah? Yep. You're actually just freezing, and that'll be what cools down the smoothie. Absolutely. And what I sometimes do, especially if I know I'm going into a very busy week, is mm -hmm. I actually pre-pack my Ziplocs. Oh, so yeah. So you could put in your beans, your, um, your variations of your fruits, and literally just do the blitz and the adding. Um, so that's quite cool. The blitz and the adding. And this is, a, <laughs> this is more of the protein powder going in. Right. So... so the recipe asks for pea protein, mm -hmm. um, which is also, it has quite the pungent um, taste. And um, you could also, you know, replace that with something like uh, brown rice uh, protein powder or even collagen. 
if you're not opposed Which to... is quite, people, quite trendy yes. at the moment, but I mean, yes. it also has its own benefits. Okay, I'm going to yeah. make a little bit of noise. That looks good, especially the colour. The I colour. Love it. I love I it. I mean, there are some smoothies that look like mm, not desirable, and, and like, you do eat with your eyes first. Yes. And it's almost weird. You, like if you're looking at one and it looks a bit off, you almost feel like that's probably going to be such a healthy smoothie. Exactly. But this, oh, I still got some more chunks. Let me just do a very quick one. If there are any chunks in there now, we're just eating it. We're just eating yes, it? Okay. Like, uh... So this is going to be a strange... It's going to sound a bit obvious, but when people talk about wanting to detox, mm -hmm. what is detoxing? What, what actually happens during that process? So basically, I always tell my patients that it's important to understand that your body has natural detox um, systems. Mm -hmm. So for instance, when you go on a detox, it usually works in um, a few manners. For instance, it can be that you're excluding normal um, toxins like which what we would usually find in foods, especially highly processed foods or takeaways. Um, so eliminating that for a while by placing focus on healthier, more natural things is already going to assist your body to detox. But when it comes to detox, um, there's not necessarily need to add much um, you know, extra ingredients, your body is geared to detox. So your liver, your kidneys, your skin, and um, even the air that you exhale helps, you know, it's your, yes, it's your body's daily process of detoxing. I love it, I love it. Okay, so we've got a voice note. Let's have a listen to what one of our viewers has to say. Good morning, Annika and Clem. I want to know, you said that you believe in breakfast and that breakfast is very important. Um, what is your opinion about fasting? Um, it's like as in fasting with the, the diet trains. Okay, so that's something that we also get a lot. Um, quite a fad at the moment is something called intermittent fasting. We also know, though, that for some religions, religious reasons, we might want periods of fasting. Um, what I found in practice is that some people are better suited to fasting than others. When it comes to the medical evidence, mm -hmm. we do suggest a 16-8 fast. So you'd be fasting for 16 hours and you have your eating uh, window of eight hours. So medically speaking, that's got the most um, you know, scientific backing. Um, my concern is always um, just kind of how do you break the fast? Uh, some personalities and even genetic setups are um, sometimes more inclined to overeat mm -hmm. um, after periods of fasting. So it really does depend um, also with regards to medical conditions like diabetes or um, not that being pregnant is a condition, but during pregnancy it's also not advised. So, I mean, if it's, if it's part of your... You know, if it's going to make your life easier, then by all means do it. Just make sure that you um, have, you know, healthy options when you do break the fast. Um, like this? Like this. There we go. Annika's not going anyway. Annika, cheers. cheers. Let's have a taste of that. Mm. Ten years younger. Look at me. <laughs> look at look at these grey hairs disappearing. This is delicious. And the texture is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Anika's not going anywhere. Please get those voice notes through. The next thing we're going to answer and debunk all your questions about detoxing. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Culinary Hotline Bling! Ting, ting, ting! That's how it goes. Culinary Hotline Bling. It's going to be fantastic, of course. We filled your cup with a smoothie. Let's now look at a different type of cupping. Altogether. Now we unlock the ancient secrets of dry cupping, a therapeutic practice rooted in centuries old Chinese and Middle Eastern medicine. And of course, we still have Dilshad Parker here uh, from the No Way Premium Wellness and Slimming. Uh, and I think this is going to be fantastic to have Ryle actually give it a shot. So we've got two of our therapists here. We've got Melody Jack is here, as well as Tendai, and they will be doing the necessary. So to start, we want to make sure that everybody who would love this holistic way of, you know, having therapy. Yeah to make sure that they know what to expect. So this is it. It feels like a normal massage mm. session altogether. So we're starting off with a mild, a mild massage. Oh, that's and great. And then uh, we get, becomes intense ashy massage. And after that, we're using the cups 
to massage as well. Ah. And then we will place the cups on specific spots on his, uh, on his, on his yes. back. However, not the spine. We okay. never do the spine. And then it will create a suction. And then the skin will come, uh, will be pulled up because yes. of the suction. And Melody and Tandai, Tandai will be doing the upper shoulders. Yes. And Melody will be doing the lower back. Okay, this is um, fantastic. Okay, so you can start with... I was say, do you think he's ready? He's ready. Do you think ready? With are, you with just, are you ready? I'm absolutely ready. You sound like you're sleeping. <laughs> ready. I'm already in my zen mode. I've had a pre-warm up here with the massage, the blood's flowing, and I am in my zen. Okay. <laughs> well, all right, you do your thing. Put your head down. Let's go through the process. So this is what you can expect. Dry cupping specifically. So now naturally all the essential oils are being applied by our two experts. And, I mean, this is... Already it's very relaxing. You yeah. can hear... Ryle's voice is not the same as it was earlier. <laughs> earlier, you was like, this is what's happening. Bah, 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 bah. Now he's like, uh. And I'm liking that already, the relaxation. So let's start. We're light massage first. Oh, this is going to be good. And this is obviously to release the muscles just a little bit and in preparation of, of the cup. And circulation of blood flow. And how many yeah. cups are you going to put on Ryle today? Uh, it, uh, for each client, it uh, depends. All right. you know? So we can put like six big cups and two on the shoulders. However, we always put... A, a cup by the, the lung area for detoxing. For, you, did you say the lung? For, yeah, the little spot for the yes. lung area for detoxification. Okay. Okay. That is powerful. Because we're doing detox. I mean, we live in a different type of world, of course. Mm. Even our lungs are subject to so many different things, both yeah. internally and externally. So I think this is a, it's a powerful one as well. Um, just as it's going along, this is actually, can I remind you that Ryle is actually working right now. <laughs> um, just to let you know that he is, I mean, this is what happens. You, you, you're getting paid for therapy. I mean, this is different. It really is. So a normal session of cupping, what are we looking at? I mean, obviously, we're going to do a condensed session just so that we can show you on the Feel Good Breakfast Show. But for anybody like a client, I know it differs, but mm. average, what, how long is the session? It's about 30 to 45 minutes um, of treatment. The cups normally stays on between five to seven, uh, seven minutes ah. or, uh, or the maximum up to 15 minutes. First one's going down. Now, look, you need to zoom into this. Check this out. You see that? Now, you may think that that is the suction of fat, but Ryle doesn't have any fat in his body. <laughs> so this is just muscle being popped up. And now, what are we doing here in terms of this? I mean, this is quite an interesting technique. Are we drawing the toxins to the surface to of the, the skin? To the surface of the skin, yeah. Wow, Dilshad, this is, this is amazing. And just in terms of feeling, I just want to get Ryle's idea. Sorry, Ryle, if you didn't pop your head up there, if you're awake, are you sleeping? Oh, there he is. Uh, <laughs> so what are you feeling when that's happening, the cupping itself, though? I mean, I can literally see your skin being pinched up. How are you feeling? Yeah, look, it's a weird feeling at first to describe you. You can almost think of the opposite of being massaged. It's almost like wow. your muscles are being uh, pulled in a weird way, like yeah. separated, yes. but it's uh, weirdly satisfying. There's a, there's a comfort to it. There's, there's a form of like relaxation in the muscle after I can feel that cup. I mean, right now it's almost like the reverse of a massage, like someone's massaging you from the inside. It's very strange. That is so cool. I know cool. it's strange. I know, I know it sounds weird, but it feels so good. It looks good as yeah. well. It does. All right, so get your head down There's again. There's a release of pressure too. That, that's a big explanation. A release of pressure. Release of pressure, yeah. which is what's happening, here, especially at this time of the year. A lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And I think this is cool. So I'm going to allow our amazing therapist to ensure that they are just continuing. And um, I want to make sure that Ryle gets the full treatment. But remember, uh, this type of treatment is wonderful. It's all part of our detox theme on your Feel Good Breakfast show today. So we'll leave them to it. And in the next couple of moments, we've got more culinary hotline, more action for you on your Feel Good Breakfast show.
It's my feel-good breakfast show. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here in S3. And in case you're wondering, you just popped in. This is Cupping from a No Way Premium Wellness and Slimming. Dilshad and her team are here. Uh, Melody as well as Tendai are working on Riles back here for some cupping. It's fantastic. It's therapeutic. It's detoxing. So you should give this a shot. But of course, uh, just a quick one though for Riles. If you don't mind, just popping your head up. Now, they've actually left the cups on your back. What's the feeling now? So a little bit different to the massage cupping. I can definitely feel this right now. Yeah. Again, it's a weird, powerful, I guess, suction. But at the same time, it's not painful. It's uh, slowly relieving and releasing that sort of pressure that I can feel in the area. <laughs> yes. But it's weird, man. It, it's a difficult thing to describe. I can hear from your voice that it's a liquor thing to describe <laughs> as well. Because you're having the best time. Liquor is an understatement. Oh. <laughs> but uh, listen, yeah, I need to sacrifice my body and get back to work. Stop disturbing me. No, no, sorry. I apologize. <laughs> okay, but this is good for a variety of different things. In fact, we'll unpack that a bit more a little bit later on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. For now, let's take a look at the news from around the world. And Graham is standing by. Thank you so much, Carl. A few seconds before 7 o'clock. Perfect timing to jump into our national news first. And a fantastic story to kick us off here in South Africa. Last year, South African inmates achieved a notable 93.2% pass rate in their metric exams. So the Correctional Services Minister, Ronald Lamola, has stressed the need to equip prisoners for self-sufficiency post-release. He supported inmates acquiring skills during sentences, advocating for their employment afterwards, connecting the dots. And he said, Plans to mandate education in all prisons are on the cards. Lamona also emphasized skills training, whether matric, plumbing or boiler making, to ensure that released individuals positively contribute to communities and can do so. The country currently houses some 155,000 inmates. Now, staying in South Africa, the Automobile Association, or AA, is concerned about filling stations allegedly selling contaminated fuel to consumers. So this after contaminated diesel was found at 70 filling stations across the country. The contaminated diesel was allegedly mixed with illuminated paraffin to avoid paying fuel levy and, of course, the road accident fund. An AA spokesperson, Leighton Beard, says the impact has uh, been seen on vehicles and it's immense and consumers can only detect this in the long run, sadly. So he didn't discount the possibility that petrol stations are not aware that the fuel they are obtaining from suppliers is in fact contaminated. I'm sure a lot of second checks being done right now. Now let's cast a wider gaze on the international news front. The US and the UK have conducted joint airstrikes against Houthi targets in Yemen, targeting eight locations, including an underground storage site and Houthi missile capabilities. So the strikes aim to protect the Red Sea trade route, where the Iran-backed Houthis have targeted ships linked to Israel and the West. The eighth U.S. strike in Yemen, the second with the U.K., seeks to de-escalate tensions and defend commerce. The U.K. Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron has stated that the U.K.'s message is clear to degrade Houthi capabilities. Then elsewhere, seven miners, including two Chinese nationals, have been trapped in a flooded mine in Zambia's Copper Belt province since Monday. The incident occurred at the Chinese-owned Macrolink copper mine in Indola. And rescue efforts are currently underway with the Chinese embassy in Zambia mobilizing specialists for the task. Macrolink has temporarily suspended operations as a result. And this incident follows a recent tragedy when landslides buried miners at Saseli Mine in Zambia as well, with the fate of some 30 missing miners still unknown after rescue efforts proved unsuccessful. Now let's bring it back home for more great news. Back to back, in fact. The Sand Parks Honorary Rangers, a passionate volunteer group committed to South Africa's national parks, achieved some remarkable milestones last year. So the freshly released 2023 report, coinciding with their 60th anniversary as well, highlights their stellar efforts. So their contributions to Sand Parks rose by 5%, reaching some 80 million rand and showcasing unwavering conservation commitment. Well done with a collective effort of three. 313,000 hours, averaging 155 hours per member. They spearheaded projects enhancing our beautiful wild spaces and national parks. And these volunteers play a pivotal role in fundraising, in awareness, and of course supporting Sand Parks missions. And they should be all our missions, really. Sand Parks has extended their sincere thanks to members and to donors for supporting sustainable national parks and of course preserving the country's biodiversity and heritage. It's now vital that we do it.
And if you are interested in joining that movement, please visit their website for details. We'll keep them up on our socials. But on that positive note, Samuel, definitely doff our caps to those volunteers. That's where we leave our news headlines for this hour. Let's touch on the sport. Let's do just that. Sporting action for you, starting with football. Cameroon secured a dramatic spot in the round of 16 in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. The AFCON with a 3-2 victory over Gambia at the Stade de la Paix. Now, the high-stakes fixture saw Cameroon needing a win to advance, and coach Rigobert Song made headlines by dropping star goalkeeper Andre Onana to the bench. The victory ensured Cameroon's automatic qualification for the round of 16 with a second-place finish in Group C. On to rugby. England's preparations for the Six Nations opener against Italy were marred by setbacks as midfield backs Ollie Lawrence and Oscar Beard, along with hooker Luke Cohen Dickey, withdrew from the squad due to injuries. Uh, Beard suffered a concussion. Cohen Dickey left the field in sales defeat by Lara Schall due to an undisclosed medical condition. And Lawrence's specific injury details are yet to be disclosed. England heads into a pre tournament training camp ahead of their Six Nations campaign opener against Italy on the 3rd of February. On to cricket, England showcased their strong form in the ICC Men's Under-19 World Cup with a comfortable 36-run win over the Proteus Under-19 in their Group B clash in Pochevstruem. Uh, the match was interrupted by a lightning threat followed by rain, forcing the players off the field. At the break, England was comfortably placed at 137 for the loss of two in pursuit of a 231-run target. Uh, with this victory, England now leads Group B with four points from two matches. Now, staying with cricket this time, uh, it's, of course, SA20. Durban Super Giants secured a bonus point victory by defeating Mike Cape Town by 36 runs in their SA20 match at Newlands in Cape Town, of course. Uh, choosing to bat first, the Super Giants faced early challenges from George Linder and Thomas Caber's spin bowling. However, a solid 48 from Matthew Brietzka and an explosive unbeaten 38 from Vian Mulder helped them post a competitive total of 157 for six. In response, Cape Town struggled, eventually collapsing to 121 for nine. This propelled DSG to second place in the table behind the Paul Royals. That's it for Sporting Action and your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Another update in one hour. If you are heading to work, this is what's ahead of you and here's G. Thank you so much, Carl. Let's uh, touch on your traffic now. And we kick it off in Pine Town, uh, down in Durban, where there's uh, sadly been an accident on the M3 southbound. That's after the M13 exit. The left lane now closed. As a result, please exercise caution while driving or take another route if you can. Then, uh, staying in Durban, in Verulam, uh, there is a protest action taking place, causing the R102 route to be blocked at Ottawa Junction. Avoid the affected area, please, and make use of an alternate route. You can see things descending very quickly in that space, so avoid it if you can and stay safe out there. Let's get into the weather. Now, in light of the intense weather conditions we've seen in KZN, we start with some weather news. And the KwaZulu-Natal Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs is now implementing drainage system expansion projects to combat reoccurring flooding in the province. Now, recent floods have claimed at least 50 lives, leading to the classification of severely affected municipalities as disaster areas. I think we all need to take this on board. The persistent flooding in certain towns and allocating budget resources to address identified issues, particularly redirecting water flow from Guadalcizi Bridge and will, among others, be investigated as a part of the process and measures include adding valves to minimize flood risks. Moreover, the aging infrastructure concerns in Etoquini are being addressed by the municipality as well. And the initiatives aim to provide a long-term solution to the ongoing flood challenges in the region. Now, let's focus on our sunrise view of the hour to brighten our mood just a little bit. And this one was sent in from Owen from Lakeside, the OG. Well done, son. Absolutely beautiful with the sun peeking through the leaves there, just giving us taste of the promise of the day ahead. We love that. Thank you so much, Owen. If you want to see your view broadcast live to millions, send us through on 0634088863. That's our WhatsApp line to use for everything. Well, I hate to say it, it's getting hot out there. Some massive temperature spikes across the country. Let's take a look at how it's going to feel in your neck of the woods.
Hydration and shade in Worcester and Uppington, as you can see, 39 and 40 respectively, some top temperatures over there, but it's going to be a beautiful day. In fact, today could be your day to make a move and play Lotto, Lotto Plus One and Lotto Plus Two for 29 million Rand in total estimated jackpots. Now, Lotto is estimated at 13 million Rand, Lotto Plus One at 9 million Rand, and Lotto Plus Two at 7 million Rand. But as always, the only way you stand a chance of winning is if you buy a ticket and play. And here's how. You can buy your tickets now in store on the nationallottery.co.za website, the mobile app, cell phone banking, or simply by dialing star 120 star 7529 hash. That is for USSD. We have posted all the details on our social media channels, so go check them out and make your move. Will you win the millions? That's a big question. So make sure you pound that push up play to find out. We go from winning to cupping. Pound a push up play. I just want to push one of these. These bubbles on his back, man. I absolutely love it, Raul. Don't, don't laugh too much. I think one of these things is just going to pop off. Um, Deschard, are, are, are you happy with everything that you're seeing so far? What's, what's your take on where we are at this well, point? Well, absolutely. Um, basically, it's very healthy. Um, there's just a little bit of concern because it's gone to a little bit darker than red. What, what does that like mean? When it, when so basically, the, the, toxins, the, the toxins move to the surface of the skin. Okay. okay. And with wet cupping, we can release it, but we're only doing dry cupping, dry cupping at, the, sure. at okay. the moment. So overall, Overall, these are for pain and tension, okay. this, these spots. This is for heart and headaches, this, this part. This is for um, kidney uh, and... Grab that microphone, there we go. Uh, yeah, kidney and... And, and the heart. And, no, the heart is there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're also learning, we're okay. learning, yeah. And these are for lumbar pain and the, this is for ki kidney and fertility. Yes. Okay. So we basically generally all well. Um, we will be removing the cups slowly and then they will give him a light massage after this treatment. Uh, so he can have as many of these treatments as he wants to. However, the wet cupping is the requirements in terms of medical reasons. You come every uh, once, every, every, uh, every three weeks over a period of three months or normal just uh, wet cupping is once every three to four months. Every yeah. three to four but months. But dry cupping anytime. Anytime you want. Whenever you have want. pain or aches or whatever you need to relieve, you come for that cupping. Uh, Melody, I've got to ask, because there is a certain amount of, of it's just a weird feeling and it, it, it can be quite painful. How has Ryle done as a patient this morning? Has he been a good boy? He has been a good boy. Like, um, <laughs> and, I, and I can see that he was enjoying it so. Yeah. It's for the win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this microphone down. I'm gonna go all the way underneath here. Oh, How's that? So there we go. Oh. Uh, what was that experience like for you, bro? Honestly, I think I don't know if it's the ladies or not, but they really made me feel so comfortable. First, <laughs> um, I honestly forgot the cups even on my back after a while. Oh, wow. It really started to allow me to just breathe into it. The body started to relax, and I really can feel like I'm in a proper Zen mode. I don't know how I'm gonna work after this now. Uh, well, you're gonna have to, but we'll force you. We're gonna crack that whip and get you going. No, I love it, but. You, you put your body through a lot, so I love the fact that there are these kind of answers. I'm going to take the microphone away from you let you sleep for another 30 seconds. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. I love the fact that we have just demystified something that I think a lot of people will stay yes, away yeah. from because they just don't know. But I can speak from personal experience, especially with the wet cupping. Yeah. Um, you know, brace yourself for the stuff that comes out. Yeah. I think it's worth knowing. But the difference it's made in my treatments and the deep tissue mm -hmm. stuff and, and the overall well-being, absolutely massive. So absolutely. thank you so much for opening a window into your world and making him literally a living work of art. I love it. Uh, it looks very cool as well, <laughs> eh, Dilshad? Thank you. What is this in the spray gun here? A, a sterilizer. Is it a sterilizer? Yeah. Just give me a second to sort of make sure. <laughs> 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 Sorry! I, I didn't know... <laughs> 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 it wasn't it was it for deliberate. I'm trying to wake this guy up. He has to work later, but I can tell you that there's so much more coming up at the Feel Good Breakfast Show. We've got a few things to look forward to. Culinary Hotline continues, plus we're going to meet the talented people from Drumstruck, so make sure Woo. you stay there. It is Espresso on S3. Liquor man. Okay, thank <laughs> you. It's name again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Only you can make my day.
It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back to the kitchen for another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! <laughs> Listen, a couple of you need to detox in the studio. You sound, that was sad. That was sad. It's a culinary hotline bling! Ding, ding, ding! Beta, Annika, please join me in the kitchen. Okay, so we've made one delicious smoothie. Right. Amazing. So I've still got some more left of mine. Now we're going to talk about some myths. Right. Some myths that people believe if they take this one thing, it cures every single health problem mm -hmm. that they have. Right. But that's why you're here today. So let's kick off straight away. But before we do, actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we do, South Africa, please send us your voice notes. This is your chance to debunk any detoxing myth that you might have. The mag magic number 063-408-8863. Send us your voice notes. So I've lined up a few ingredients that I believe people always go to and just call health. And they think right. it's going to... Seal everything. The start off of the year, green tea or matcha, mm -hmm. it's kind of become such a health drink. Right. Rightfully or not so much? So in the realm of dietetics and treating individuals, um, we try and encourage variety. Um, so for instance, green tea um, may be quite beneficial with regards to antioxidants and polyphenols. These are the things our body could use in its normal detoxing processes daily. So by all means, if you want to start the day or um, with green tea or have it as a snack, um, it won't be bad for you. But having it in large amounts, expecting you know, uh, some miracle also ne won't necessarily be worth it. So, again, include it into your diet, but don't make it your main focus. Right. Mm -hmm. And, of course, if we're adding full-fat milk and sugar to it, we kind of... Un we, I mean, what's it, we're undoing. Right. We're still getting the antioxidants, but you kind of, it's, it's kind of taking... steering it away from... Absolutely. Okay, from yeah. being a healthier so, option, yeah. Yeah, so another... So, uh, or, instance is coffee. I absolutely love coffee and coffee's got quite a bad reputation um, but it's also filled with a lot of antioxidants. It's been proven to prevent things like um, mental decline. It can even help to a certain degree with constipation. So again it's just the things we add to it that really um, makes or breaks the beverage. All right I get mm -hmm. you. Next one, ginger. Right. And I'm talking specifically ginger. Maybe we can go ginger fresh and then obviously versus powdered. But ginger, mm -hmm. let's talk about the fresh ginger as it is right now. So I absolutely love ginger. It's very versatile. Um, and um, I mean, using it in its fresh um, form, it's always, you know, got a nice pungent um, you know, taste to it. It's um, recently been more in the spotlight with regards to um, COVID and the pandemic because it does have quite a bit of um, immune boosting properties. Um, so yeah, I sometimes use it just finely chopped in cold water or boiling water as a pick-me-up. Um, of course, we know when it comes to detox and supporting your body, the natural processes of detox that your body already has, water is, is of utmost importance. Right. So, so you, you know, adding things like ginger or lemon may enhance the taste and even have certain benefits, but only to a limited degree. Got you. We're going to go off script right now. It's mentioned water. When it's recommended we have two liters of water a day. Right. Can that water be juice, tea, coffee? Can that form part of our two liters of the day? Or does it have to be out the tap or proper water water? Okay, so that's a very important question. Usually we say all fluids contribute to your total water intake if it is naturally caffeine and sugar-free. Okay. Okay. So, for instance, something like green tea does have quite large amounts of caffeine, so that's something to keep in mind, as does coffee. Um, unfortunately, we have also been seeing people having large amounts of energy drinks right. that do contain caffeine. So, the moment you have a drink that contains caffeine, you kind of have to make up for that. So, for instance, if we divide the two litres of water into, say, eight glasses, um, and you're having a cup of coffee, for every cup of coffee, you'd actually add a cup of water okay. to, to balance that out. So, caffeine can dehydrate you. Um, yeah. I like I'll, that question. I like, I like the answer. We've got another voice note. Let's have a listen to what one of our viewers has to say. Good morning, Expresso team. It's Carol here. Um, would only having fruit uh, first thing in the morning for breakfast um, 
after coffee. Um, would that constitute a detox? Um, and then a meal at, say, around about 11 o'clock in the morning. Thank you. Okay, so again, it's, it's, a, it's a loaded scenario. Mm. Um, like we said, I believe in breakfast, but I also believe in having a protein for breakfast, not to spike your insulin levels. So having fruit um, with coffee or without coffee, it, it, it's a very practical way of getting certain vitamins, certain types of fiber and electrolytes. Um, I do, however, think that one shouldn't think about a detox only as elimination, what to avoid, but also what you could add. Um, like we said, um, if you're having green tea, add some ginger, or if you are having cold water as part of your fluid intake for the day, add some lemon. Um, but yeah, it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have a set criteria. Um, like I said, it's, it's avoiding the, the known nasties, you know. Um, and also considering that sometimes these things that we need to detox from come from other sources than food. Can we say what the sources are? <laughs> what are those sources? So that would be things like smoking, uh -huh. cigarettes, all the alternatives we have these days. Also air pollutants. Um, it can even be, uh, you know, um, chemicals we use in the kitchen or garden. Um, so all of these things really burden our bodies with toxins. And we should rather use food to help your body detox mm. than avoiding harmless food in attempt to accelerate this Got detox. You. I don't know if that makes sense. No, it does make sense. And would stress form part of that factor that something you need to eliminate during your, your, your detox process? Well, yes. I think um, if anyone has the opportunity to slow down and... What? You, you, you know? Yeah. If you, if you are privileged enough to have that opportunity, please do that. Um, I don't necessarily think that a detox, you need um, to be stress-free to detox, but it certainly helps. And I mean, I've also kind of um, listened into some of the conversations this morning. And um, what I do think is detox is multifactorial. And it's almost like you are looking at few aspects of your life, mm. trying to be more aware of your body um, and also in that way improve your health. So... Got yeah. you. Bring in my friend Carl Wasty, standing this man talking about bodies. Look at that sexy Ooh. body! Hi. <laughs> Woo! Hi there. Woo. Hi. Hello. An Hi. honor. You've been amazing today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stand right over here. What are we tasting? I'm here. You know the great thing about having two fantastic friends slash colleagues that are intermittent fasting? Yeah. Is that I get to do intermittent eating. Nice. Lovely. That's it. Here we go. So, so here we go. What do we have Please taste our smoothie, and I'd like for you to guess what the magic ingredient is. Okay, And cool. while you're doing that, we get, we've, we've just touched on lemon, but let's go, go through it again. Is lemon recommended as part of your detox? Look at Carl's face. You can... It's very okay. textural. Textural? Tastes like there's rice in here. Uh, it, um, close. Tastes like this. There's like a, like a there's, there's something that's cob. There's a cob. There's a cob <laughs> in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can taste cobs. I'm gonna tell you, it's beans. That's what I knew. It is it's, a legume. Yeah, and you don't cob. taste beanie, right? You don't taste the beanie flavor. No, it's but the texture. texturally, I've got texture. that. But, but it's fine. I'm not a. I'm not a finicky by texture. I think if you're getting something in, yeah. you should just completely erase all textural thing and know that it's coming. That's Absolutely. Why, that's why I love mm. chia seeds as well, which yes. is like really good for the gut too. So. Mm. Mm. Ah. Nice, nice. So, South Africa, do not go anywhere. Carl, enjoy that. You look What's 15 that one? years younger. Have some, some Can matcha. I have some of this as well? You Sorry, have some matcha tea. While I'm eating. <laughs> While he's busy having his drinks, South Africa, don't go anywhere. We're going to chat more about lemons, beetroots, brown rice. Annika's not going anywhere, so stay tuned for more Culinary Hotline Bling! Ding, ding, ding! ding. Mm. So we get massaged for a living. We oh, get fed smoothies for a living. What's going on here? After this, <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. Uh, we are here for that. So hopefully you are enjoying the ride. Let's see if we can make it even better. Mm. And this season, Easy Life Kitchens, they are delivering. They're making it so much easier to cook in this summer heat. And we know that it is hot out there. They are giving away a Vortex Plus 8 
in one Ooh. versa zone air fryer it lives up to the name it's worth nearly four thousand five hundred rand and it's going to one of you lucky people trust me you need this in your kitchen at the end. all you need to do is like the easy life kitchen page on facebook and instagram mm -hmm. and then you want to tag a friend who needs an air fryer and share the giveaway post so you can tag me in this one yeah. I, I, I don't mind your partner is a friend <laughs> as well you know the person you live with your wife can be a friend your yeah. husband can be a That's friend true. it's fine uh, the giveaway entry period closes midnight on the 26th of February so you've got a bit of time but I would imagine we're gonna if it's an air fryer we're gonna get like millions of entries so get on it right now and make someone's life a lot easier but you can find the T's and C's on their website go and check it out so coming up in your Feel Good Breakfast show, we've got something special for you. These talented people from Drumstruck will be doing their thing. And of course, we've got a recipe for you for mushroom and lentil bolognese. You're going to need to stay there. It is your Feel Good Breakfast show. Double cream plain yogurt from Clover. Just plain amazing. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. We're about to raise the energy stakes. There's a lot of energy here, and I love the fact that it comes in the form of an incredible ensemble. So joining us right now is Warren Lieberman, who is the owner and founder of the incredible musical outfit, Drum Struck. And joining him are star performers Mpo Rasanyalo and Tumelo Seleke. Give them a big round of applause. Yay! Look at Yes! Because we love them. Um, and they are here, obviously, ahead of a what promises to be a magical, magical wine and dine experience. But, of course, some unmatched entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. We can feel the energy already. The sound checks have been <laughs> yeah. epic. My heart is going. They do have, like, a beat to them, hey? Ooh. This is good energy. But thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, Warren, let's start off with an introduction into Drumstruck itself. I mean, if, if Graham and I were going for a quiet evening, you know, just as friends to enjoy this experience. It's not going to be quiet. <laughs> not quiet. <laughs> not at all. So tell me about what Drumstruck is and what do you want people who are experiencing it to feel? 
Well, Drumstruck, when you arrive there, you first do a wine tasting, which is an incredible wine tasting. It's presented by the owner and the winemaker, Gregory brink -Low, Yes. who makes the most exceptional wines. So he makes organic wines and yeah. probably the best in Constantia. Wow. And you sit on this magnificent lawn overlooking the so 12 Apostles. It is absolutely oh, gorgeous. It's beautiful, yeah. So once you've had a few absolutely gorgeous wines, we take you through to the theater, the Drumstruck Theater, which is a museum of traditional African instruments, probably the largest collection of African instruments oh. in the country. And then we play these instruments for you. We actually play these very rare instruments. Yes. Like the Ghana Royal Drum or the Ngoma Lungundu, which is like a really spiritual drum. And then halfway through the show, we give you your own drum to play. And then we go crazy, and it's fun, and you laugh, Ooh. and it's totally fun. <laughs> I can see by the smiles on the faces that the fun is there, and it's infectious. There is something, just, it, it, there is inertia with a performance like this. Once you're on board, you get dragged along. Yeah. Uh, so, is it Mpoh? Mpoh. Break it down for us. So what is your role with this, within this incredible cast here? Um, and how does it feel being able to play some of these, these instruments that I would imagine a lot of people haven't ever experienced yeah. before? First of all, I would like to say thank you for having us. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. the pleasure yeah. is all yeah. ours. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I have the most beautiful job ever. Okay. And then we play these rare instruments. We have a collection of drums, a collection of bow instruments, mbiras, all the indigenous instruments that we have, that a lot of people don't really know them. But if you come to Drumstruck, you come there, we show you this instrument, we demonstrate you, for you these instruments using song, storytelling, and dance. It's very nice. And I, I really, I, um, I love being in the show because of it, it taught me some other things that I didn't even know about South African uh, uh, indigenous music. Wow. So you come to the show, you, it's, it's, it's a show that connects you in a I way. You get that. connected because you kind of like get to know your roots. Yes. Yeah. Really where the music comes from because we're going to start with how the music started from the hands and the feet down to starting the instruments. So all the, the, the instruments that Warren has collected over the years, it's beautiful uh, instruments that Please come and see them. Well, it's an experience. Oh, yeah. It's not just an auditory thing that you are presented mm -hmm. with. Exactly. You live it. You're a part of it. I love Every that. Every day. It is so good, though. Uh, Tomelo, just in terms of the cultural aspect of this, I know people are invited into culture with this, and mm -hmm. I, I really love that. For you to welcome somebody into a culture and watch them drum, even though they may not drum too well. <sighs> Because I'm sure you've seen that a lot of times. Yeah, you know, you get people, yeah. you get people who know the feet. They go, Why don't you look at me? Why don't you in this room suddenly look at me when you said that? This is why I'm asking the question, Graham. So, <laughs> You'd be my victim. You see, I just think. So you get we some know. people. Some people drum like this, toot, 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 but otherwise people can feel the, but yeah. the rhythm. But I think that uh, for you, Right, as somebody who welcomes people to culture and rhythm, yes. you know, how do you go about, you know, doing that for people? <laughs> well, mm, I have the easiest job in the show, uh, yes. just to make you laugh. Oh, yes. Uh, you see. Make you relax, nice. loosen up and have some fun. Yes. So when you look at me, you lip sync with me, I make you do <laughs> funny things, and then you realize that, no, I'm losing myself right now. <laughs> and that's the main purpose of the show, because there's a serious part of the show, yes. and there's a more fun part of the show where that's where I get in. They have the serious part. I, 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 they took me from the streets. So <laughs> I'm bringing the streets into the show. And everything I know, they taught me. So I have to teach you in a fun way. Uh, now. Yeah. That's true. I'm telling you, Graham, you're going to be my next victim. Uh, I'm ready for that, buddy. Do you know what it is? What you've just explained is our show every day, exactly. pretty much, dude. I think you're going to fit right in. Um, this is an amazing opportunity, yes, for the viewer, but for the performers in the show, it looks like you've hit on gold. How do you feel about this group that are bringing this to life? Because the energy, you can feel it. It hits you in the face. It hits you in the gut <laughs> when you hear them perform. You must be so proud when yeah. you see it all come together like this, man. Well, I can, I can say that this is the finest group of performers in the country, of traditional performers in the country. I mean, we have got a marimba wow. group, which are on another level. It is just unbelievable. So we've got the top, top marimba group in the country, probably in the world. Yeah. And then you put yeah. them together with Mpo and, and Tumelo, who are like outstanding performers, and you yes. just get 
magic. I mean, we see the people coming out with tears in their eyes after the show. Oh, no. And when the bry is happening and the sun setting and they're eating this bry and it's just magical and they're singing songs because we teach people to sing songs together. That's so it great. It's just magic. It makes everyone just fall in love with South Africa. Or, or to lip sync. Or to lip sync. Or along to lip -sync. Yes. As well. can, can we bring in a drum there, yeah. Please, can we bring in and imbue the studio with some of this gorgeous energy, please? Hey. I like how they put it right by Graham. I mean, yeah. they put it by me, but they put it by yeah. me. <laughs> there we go. That, I passed my audition. What's the, what's the key? Jamila, what is the key to being able to handle this beauty? Well, you have to take care of the drum. Okay. So the message is I very simple you. and the instruction is very, very simple. <laughs> if you can sing it okay. or lip sync it. Yes. If you can lip sync it, you yeah, can yeah, I like play. it. This is great. I if I can it. say to you, say, to, say with me. Okay. Doom, doom, da, ka, da, ka, doom, doom, da. And give me a rumble. Love it. Yeah, boy. I don't think they're going to call me anytime soon, but I'm there. I'll be there in the audience. I'll be there in the front row. There is something very powerful about wielding these instruments. To see you do it on the level that you do is awe-inspiring. So thank you so, so much. This is one you do not want to miss. Of course. Drumstruck.com, we're going to go visit you. Okay, you can take your drum. You're gonna, this guy, you're going to have to like, peel him away from the drum. <laughs> take your drum with you because you are going to have to do this right. for us now. We've got a performance coming up. Warren, well done for an amazing showpiece. We're going to send these performers off because you're going to get to see them in action. Not only did you see a little teaser from Graham, which yeah. is wonderful, it's how but the now show Drumstruck opens. will do their thing <laughs> along with Warren. Remember, drumstruck.com. Make your booking. We're talking about wine tasting, brying, drumming. Oh, we should have started with the brying thing <laughs> first. You do end it with a sunset <laughs> bry. Absolutely beautiful. Tickets between 200 and 450 rand if you want the real experience. Um, as Carl said, drumstruck, drumstruck.com is where you can get your tickets. It's taking place at the exquisite Silver Mist Wine Farm mm -hmm. with a wine pairing experience thrown into the mix. But I have a feeling this is something that needs to be lived. Oh, it's yeah. something that you need to experience experience firsthand to truly understand the power of these instruments and more importantly the incredible energy and the smiles of these performers who now take the floor enjoy ladies and gentlemen this is the drum struck now we are going to give you a medley of indigenous instruments in the beginning we used our hands and our feet to make music. It is played by the vendor tribes. A hundred people at the same time play nanga together. And each nanga has its own note. One man, one, one note. note. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we were hunter gatherers and used our bows to hunt. But we found out by tapping on the bow, we can also make music.
were used to call people to special occasions. <laughs> and the Zulu tribe started hitting animal hide I know. using their sticks. <laughs> But when we put the animal hide on a hollow log, then the drum was born.
Welcome back, and we're in the kitchen, this time making what promises to be the most delicious, nutritious pasta dish. Annika, please come back into the kitchen and join us for another installment of the Culinary Outline Bling! <laughs> now, just a reminder again, get those voice notes coming through to that magic number, 063-408-8863. Send us all your voice, voice notes. Annika's here to debunk any myths that you might believe surround the detox industry. Yeah, sure thing. Um, Annika, this pasta looks... Like, just, just healthy. I know, right? And we haven't put it together just yet. I know, it's so vibrant in colour. And I think that's something you should always measure your mm -hmm. food prep or even your meal by, is making sure you have at least three or four different colours. I was about to do mm -hmm. what I normally do and just like empty olive oil into the pan. Okay. But I'm with the dietitian, so I feel like, <laughs> is there a recommended like... <laughs> Right. Too, yeah. I yeah. mean, uh, uh, olive oil, one thing, yeah. it's also got health properties. It, it absolutely does. But in yes. moderation, right? Right. So, um, I always say if you want to use olive oil, mm. make sure it's a good quality and that you don't heat it for extended periods of time. So, when we look at a portion of fat or oil, like you mentioned, a teaspoon of olive a oil teaspoon? Okay. would be allowed for a person. So, then that, okay, so we're making this for like four or six people, so you can yep. work that out and yes. do the math. Okay, yep. but onions are going into the pan. Great. Okay, let's start cooking that. Let's talk about yes. some of the other ingredients. Right. So, uh, like I mentioned, the more colors, the better. Mm -hmm. um, the fresh herbs are amazing. Um, the... Um, celery. Celery, thank you. They are quite high in um, potassium and water, and again, those are the things that you want to give your body, especially when you're trying to just improve your health in general. Um, so they're great. They've also got a very nice texture um, and ability to bulk up meals. Right. So. I've got a thing about celery. Um, there's a hack that I found out. Yes. It's quite fibrous, which right. is a good thing. Yes, but if is. you don't like the fibres, you just cut all the way down, like almost all the way yeah. through. And then you pull. Okay. And it pulls off the fibres. That's right. the fibre bit that you always end up chewing on. Yeah. So that's a great hack if you don't like right. the fibres. How would you like your... Are we, are we cooking it or are we keeping it raw? Uh, so, no, you can definitely sauté it with okay. the onions. Um, so, you should also put me to work, but... Um, Let's talk I'm about... <laughs> actually, yes, I'm going to put you to work uh, with the mushrooms. I can mix. <laughs> Tell me about the mushrooms. Um, right. One thing about mushrooms is people don't like the skins on them. Right. I love the skins. Mm -hmm. um, is there nutritional benefits in keeping the skins on? Absolutely. So, mushrooms are so versatile, especially when you are... Um, cooking without animal proteins. Um, okay. It's got a very good texture. And it's got about uh, two to four grams of fiber per 100 grams of uh, mushroom. So generally, okay, yeah, the, generally our South African public, we don't take in enough fiber. Um, and of course, we know that sufficient amount of fiber with sufficient amount of uh, fluids um, is what is needed for good quality uh, excretion, if you know what I'm... Got you. Doing. Yes, I do get you. So <laughs> we've, get, we've got fibre in our mushrooms. Right. We've got fibre and protein coming from our lentils yes. as well. Yeah. And lentils, I absolutely love. I feel like we just don't use it enough. Absolutely. So we spoke about the protein. Are you? Could you, mm -hmm. in a sense, if you're going flexitarian, yes. get the same amount of protein out of lentils yeah. that you would out of meat? So, with all your prawn pr uh, proteins, you want to combine certain ones to make a balanced and um, complete amino acid mm -hmm. profile. So, if I could or just maybe say, for instance, a piece of chicken or um, steak, it has a specific amino acid profile that makes the protein what it is. So, with plant-based uh, proteins, you kind of need to combine some of the um, proteins. So, for instance, Brown bread with peanut butter would give you a complete uh, protein profile. Um, or when okay. we do rice and right. lentils, same goes. However... That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, I mean, to, to make it all balanced, then we should be... I mean, our moms and aunts used to do, like, the lentils and the rice mix. Yes. That wasn't just for... Well, then for flavour, they, they were onto something. Absolutely. Okay. And I think it's great that we're moving back to those, you know, more um, old, well, old practices that were just less um, processed. Moms, were, I feel like, were the original dietitians. 
They, yeah. they were in charge of like making sure everybody's growing up big and strong. So Absolutely. I totally trust the moms. I'm going to ask for some salt. And then while someone's bringing me some salt, I'm going to ask a question. Right. Brown rice versus white rice. And we know we're not doing it now, but there's a question that I have. Is brown rice the healthier option? Should we always be substituting white rice with brown rice? So I wouldn't say it's always necessary. I mean, brown rice has some extra flavours in them. Of course, naturally, they are high in fibre. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, like we said, there are many ways in boosting the fibre content of a meal. Um, so... I mean, brown rice is also quite expensive. It is, um, and we've noticed that. And I was wondering, is that because of the health fad that people are saying brown rice is a healthier option? Or is brown rice just a little more expensive to produce? I don't know. No, so as far as I understand, um, I mean, we, once they harvest the rice, it goes through a process of becoming white rice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they yeah, de husk it, yeah. et cetera. So, um, brown rice is less processed, but like, I'm, like I mentioned, it's, it's quite expensive. and you don't really need it. So, for instance, if we were to use this bolognese um, on something like rice mm -hmm. instead of pasta, normal r white rice in the, you know, portion sizes recommended for your body would be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, yeah. I get you. Okay, so they haven't brought my salt just yet. Lucian? Lucian. Gonna bring salt, but we've got um, stock going in, and you can also mm -hmm. use veggie stock or pro or um, chicken stock, I suppose. But if you're keeping yes. it veggie, veggie yes, stock, absolutely. So my question about um, this, I was gonna ask you a question about back again to rice, mm -hmm. cooking rice in stock. Right. Are we actually getting the protein from the stock if we do cook our rice in the stock, or is it purely just for flavour? Um, I wouldn't say that you would get protein in sufficient amounts. It's definitely the fa flavour and. What you should remember is that flavor is actually retained in fat. Okay. Yeah. 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 So with regards to using, say, a, a chicken or beef stock or even a, you know, seafood stock, it's more for taste. Okay. Yeah. You know what? We spoke so much about the mushrooms, I forgot to add it. <laughs> so we're going to just do that anyway. And then I see we've got some basil here and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Right. And I like the fact that you said it's not excluding... Ex excluding foods, it's mm -hmm. also about adding things. We've Absolutely. added a lot of a, a lot of ingredients to this dish, and it, it, again, it's I know I'm being cliche, but it actually looks and feels healthy, exactly. which I absolutely yes. love and flavoursome. Yes, healthy doesn't always mean it's boring food. So this absolutely. is absolutely delicious. Mushrooms right. going in, and I just right. break them. I'll help. To the people that are like, I come in here, Lucian, my friend, and want to do the wasting salad for the <laughs> Thank you, Lucia. Thank you for the salt. So, uh, mushrooms, if you are someone at home who doesn't like the skin on the mushrooms, very simple to remove, especially with the bigger mushrooms, with the brown mushrooms, all you got to do is literally just get your, get, grab the skin at the bottom and just peel it off. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do. But honestly, just keep the skins on. Honest, I, I love it. I love the texture. Also keeps the mushroom together. It's also quite, you know, I mean, it's worth mentioning that this skin, mm -hmm. it's brown, right? Right. So, I mean, that's also why you would buy certain uh, uh, varieties of mushroom. So whenever you see different colours in nature, it means it has different nutritional value, especially with, with regards to antioxidants. So, I got you. you know, the, the brown skin is actually giving you better uh, bang for buck, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So... Um, yeah, but if, if it's the deal breaker, take off the skin and just have the, the mushroom anyway. Got you. This is going to simmer down. We're going to add our basil, add our cheese to it, toss it to the pasta. That's dinner done. It looks yeah. amazing. Smells so good. Annika, you've been amazing. And also, just to mention, a lot of my questions weren't even on Annika's script today. Annika was hitting them. You were so amazing. Thanks. We're keeping you on speed dial because I feel like we're going to need you in the kitchen a lot. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. here this morning. Thanks for having me. We'll be back again next week with more Culinary Hotline Bling! Yeah. 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 <laughs> ting, ting, ting. We ting. love it. Um, we uh, love the culinary explosion in yes. our studio today. Yes, we do. Um, and we love the fact that we've been prepared to do a little detoxing because you might need to do it on Monday morning. <laughs> prepared to be captivated by the party of the year, an extraordinary fusion of horsepower. And yes, some of the best entertainment. This isn't your run of the mill race day. It's the apex of the racing sophistication of that set. It's the carnival of glamour that we have been waiting for. In fact, it's the event of the
of the year, James. Yes, it's around the corner. It's happening this weekend. The World Sports Betting Cape Town Met is ready to unfold its grandeur at the iconic Kenilworth Racecourse. Now, you can expect a thrilling lineup of races, live entertainment that obviously promises to electrify, and a stunning fashion exhibition orchestrated by the illustrious Gavin Raja. Mm. It's going nice. to be absolutely amazing. Excitement builds for the introduction of three <laughs> exciting ticket options. The Concert Terrace Racing Pavilion coming around the outside and Garden Picnic in the front, each offering a unique blend of glamour, grace and glory. Don't miss a chance to be part of the ultimate sporting and social extravaganza this year. I had to do that because it's horse racing. Let's focus here. Now, who no, won, man? Who won? No, I, I want to no know who idea. won. Either one <laughs> of those will win. be a win because you just have to secure your tickets now on Ticket Pro uh, for an experience that transcends the ordinary. It is going to be special. And if you want to get your tickets, now is your chance. And we're going to help you get there. In fact, we have got two opportunities. This is your last chance to enter as World Sports Betting are giving away a set of double, double VIP tickets each to two lucky viewers because you can't go alone. You've got to stand <laughs> a chance of securing your VIP seats this Saturday, the 27th of January, simply by heading over to our competition post that's on our Facebook, Instagram and X pages and tell us this. What do you love most about the Cape Town Met? And don't forget that all-important hashtag World Sports Betting. The competition closes midday today. So get entering. We, we couldn't extend it longer because you need time to organize your outfit. Yes. Yeah, You've got to look good. You can find all the terms and conditions and a little fashion inspiration on expressoshow.com. Yeah, yep. I cannot wait for that. And what I cannot wait for is more entertainment because we've ticked the box of health, of detoxing. Yes. <laughs> the kitchen has served the belly so well. But I want to get some more entertainment and that's exactly what you can expect of course and some kitchen hacks coming through clem's got something when it comes to res kitchen hacks so this is going got to be covered. interesting to say the least yeah and of course you know drolene strauss had a bit of a gender reveal however it, it went wrong what <laughs> uh, it did we've got all the news for you plus okay. more celebrity news a little bit later on your feel good breakfast show stay right there <laughs> Welcome back to our detox session this morning. Being hump day, we are detoxing our way towards the weekend. Should be the other way around, I think. Um, so you had some dry cupping done. Uh, we loved watching the process. How are you feeling now? Yeah, Anything feeling... changed? I, I don't think anything's changed. Just the fact that, like, I don't feel like I'm working anymore. I'm just, like, <laughs> floating around the studio, just all in my zen. But it really felt good. It felt alleviating. It felt like a lot of pressure was taken off me. And, uh, yeah, like, I'm the just... weight of the world on my shoulders is no longer there. I'm just thinking, like, you know, you're taking a quilt or something and, and that fashion, all that connective tissue and just stretching it out like that. It yeah, just looks man. so satisfying, man. <laughs> I'm adding this to my arsenal. I don't know if you haven't tried it already. You definitely want to get some cupping into your regime because I'm telling you, it's going to produce some incredible results and you're just going to feel like a million bucks on top of that. Come on. Oh, I love it, man. Well, if you need something to stress you out before you go and relax, let's get into some news and sporting headlines. I'm sure a few buttons will be pushed and then, of course, the final hour of the show commences. <sighs> Well, let's wrap it up from the news desk on your feel-good breakfast show. Now, starting nationally, Britain's Prince Edward says science and innovation are essential to the progress of a country. During his two-day working visit to South Africa, the Duke of Edinburgh signed an agreement with the Minister of Higher Education, Science and Innovation, Dr. Bladem Zamande, and the UK government will fund science projects in South Africa through the International Science Partnership Fund. This initiative aims to address challenges posed by climate change. Prince Edward enthusiastic about engaging with youth through the 
Duke of Edinburgh International Awards scheme express support for the fund's role in unlocking new solutions. Now, last year, South Africa inmates uh, achieved a notable 93.2% pass rate in the matric exams. Correctional Services Minister Ronald Lamola has stressed the need to equip prisoners for self-sufficiency post-release. He supported inmates acquiring skills during sentences, advocating for their employment afterwards. He said plans to mandate education in all prisons are on the cards. Lamola emphasized skills training, whether matric, plumbing or boiler making, to ensure that released individuals positively contribute to communities. The country currently houses some 155,000 inmates. On to international news. Cameroon has initiated the world's first routine malaria vaccine program, aiming to save thousands of African children. Malaria claims some 600,000 lives annually in Africa, with children under five constituting 80% of the deaths. Cameroon offers uh, the RTSS uh, vaccine uh, free to infants up to six months. Following successful pilot campaigns in Kenya, Ghana and Malawi, where a 30% drop in malaria deaths occurred, the vaccine deemed effective in at least 36% of cases could potentially save over one in three lives, U.S. researchers say. Now, the U.S. and U.K. have conducted joint airstrikes against Houthi targets in Yemen, targeting eight locations, including an underground storage site and Houthi missile capabilities. Uh, the strikes aim to protect the Red Sea trade route, where the Iran-backed Houthis have targeted ships linked to Israel and the West. The eighth U.S. strike in Yemen, the second with U.K., and, of course, seeks to de-escalate tensions and defend commerce. UK Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron has stated that the UK's message is very, very clear to degrade Houthi capabilities. And finally, news from the Oscar nominations. Despite garnering eight Oscar nominations, the blockbuster Barbie has experienced notable snubs for lead actor, that is, Margot Robbie, and director Greta Gerwig as the highest-grossing film of 2023, raking in some $1.44 billion globally. Expectations were high for them in their respective categories. However, Ryan Gosling secured a Best Supporting Actor nod and two soundtrack entries earned nominations for Best Original Song. Now, Oppenheimer dominates with 13 nominations. Uh, this is featuring actor, uh, I should say, Killian Murphy, as well as Emily Blunt and Robert Downey Jr., along with a Best Director nomination for Christopher Nolan. Other contenders include Poor Things with 11 nominations, Killers of the Flower Moon with 10, and Maestro with 7. Jimmy Kimmel will host the Oscars ceremony that will be on the 10th of March in Los Angeles. That is it for your news and your feel-good breakfast show. Let's take a last look at your sporting action. Here's G. It's all about AFCON as we chase down those last 16 spots. And Cameroon have secured their spot in the round of 16. And they did it with some drama in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. They did it with a 3-2 victory over Gambia at the Stade de la Pai. So the high stakes fixture, it saw Cameroon needing a win to advance. And coach Rigobert Song made headlines by dropping star goalkeeper Andre Onana for this crucial fixture. The victory ensured Cameroon's automatic qualification for the round of 16 with a second place finish in their Group C. Now, of course, in rugby, uh, England's preparations for the Six Nations opener against Italy, they've been marred by setbacks as midfield backs Sir Ollie Lawrence and Oscar Beard, along with hooker Luke Cowan Dickey, have all withdrawn from the squad due to injuries. So Beard suffered a concussion. Cowan Dickey, he left the field in sales defeat at the hands of La Rochelle due to an undisclosed medical condition. And then Lawrence's specific injury details yet to be disclosed, but they are all out of the fold. So England heads into a pre-tournament training camp, and that's ahead of their Six Nations campaign opener up against Italy on the 3rd of February. Now we turn to cricket. Not the best outing from a South African perspective, but England showcased their strong form in the ICC Men's Under-19 World Cup with a comfortable 36-run win over the Proteas Under-19s. That was in their Group B clash in Poch. So the match was interrupted by a lightning threat at one point, followed by some rain, forcing the players off the field. And at the break, England were comfortably placed at 137 for two in pursuit of their 231-run targets. And with the victory, England now lead Group B with four points 
points from their two matches. South Africa still there and thereabouts, but some work to be done. Now let's turn to the other cricket playing out in South Africa, and to the SA20 has been an explosion. And it was Durban Super Giants last night who stole the glory. They got the bonus point victory, defeating my Cape Town by 36 runs in their SA20 match at Newlands in Cape Town. So choosing to bat first, the Super Giants, they faced some early challenges from George Linda and Thomas Cabers spin bowling. Um, quite an effective pair. However, a solid 48 from Matthew Bretzka and then an explosive unbeaten 38 from Bian Mulder, helping them post a competitive total of a 157 for six. In response, Cape Town struggled, eventually collapsing at 121 for nine. So the win propels GSG to second place on the table behind the high-riding Paul Royals. They really are having a season, especially in Paul. And that's where we leave our sports reporting for today on our hump day. And of course, many of you heading out to work right now. Let's uh, get a catch up on the roads. Thank you, G-Man. And yes, for the final hour, let's see how we can serve you when it comes to traffic. And let's move to Chuan and Gauteng. Now, there's a stationary truck on the N1 southbound. Now, this after Brackfontein Road. Now, two lanes are affected, as you can see in the visual, so you can expect delays if you are traveling through this area. We now move over to Cape Town and Somerset West. There seems to be congestion on the N2 outbound, and that's towards Victoria Interchange. And again, from the visuals, you can expect delays and allow for more travel time if you are passing through this area. But for anybody heading out on the roads this morning, buckle up, stay safe, and plan accordingly. From the roads to the sky, let's find out now what's happening when it comes to weather. And diving into weather news right now, the SA Weather Service has issued a warning for elevated temperatures across several regions today. Now in the Cape Winelands, the Central and Little Karoo in the Western Cape, maximum temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius are anticipated. Now uncomfortably hot conditions also expected in various areas of the Western Cape and the interior of Namakwa in the Northern Cape. Now the interior of the Eastern Cape is set for a heat wave with persistent high temperatures. And additionally, heightened fire risks are forecasted for the Namakwa District, the West Coast District, the Cape Winelands and the Central Karoo, extending to the Dr. Bayers Nordia local municipality and the Inkmuba Yetemba local municipality in the Eastern Cape. Well, from our weather news, we dive into our final sunrise view of the hour. And this one was sent in by Joanne from KZN. And it is a beautiful shot. It looks like a pool with a little bit of a deck and a balcony, but it's right on the coastline. And you can just see the sun's rays bursting through those clouds, creating an absolutely iconic shot. I can't thank you enough for sharing this one with us. And we'll do it all again tomorrow morning. The number is 063 Share your sunrise view with us, and we'll share it with the rest of the world. For now, though, let's take one last look at those temperatures and see what you can expect on your side of town. Up there in the degrees, 14 <laughs> degrees, but you know, there's something hotter than Uppington right now, and that is the lotto. Oh, man, it's crazy. Today is your day. I'm not going to say it could be. It is your day to make your move and play lotto. So let's break it down. Lotto plus one yeah. and lotto plus two. Four. 29 million rand in total estimated chatbots. Come on. So, Lotto estimated at 13 million, my friend. Shoo. Lotto plus one at 9 million. And then Lotto plus two at 7 million. But as always, the only way you can stand a chance of winning 
is if you buy a ticket. Get the yes, ticket. Yes, you have to get the ticket. Now, you may be asking, Graham and Carl, how do you get the ticket? I'm glad you asked. Let's answer that for you. Go in store. Get uh -huh. yourself a ticket. Go to nationallottery.co.za. That's a website. You can use that. The mobile app, very functional and easy. Cell phone banking. Clavered at Suez. And then, simply by dialing star. 120 is star. 7529 and hash. That is for you, SSD. Simple. So many ways. I love it. Even for the old school. We got you right? covered, man. We got you covered. And we, of course, for those of us with my memory retention, we've got those details <laughs> on the social media channels all over the place. So you've got no excuses. We just can't give you the winning numbers, okay? But we can no. give you all the motivation so that you owe us a little something when you win. Um, will you win the millions? And there are many, many William, uh, millions to be won. Uh, and a few Williams. Uh, Panda, push a play to find out. Good luck. Yes, indeed. So we are going to find a push a play right now. In fact, uh -huh. I'll give you some more on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Uh, so basically, you've won uh, pretty much the jackpot. We've got the former Miss SA, Rolene Strauss. We've got a story around a gender reveal that's gone wrong. I know. That, that's enough. We could just drop the mic on that one. But of course, it's all about the detoxing at the moment. And we like the sound of a sober bar. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about an energy bar, an actual bar where you go to have a little bit of a wet. We're going to find out more after this. Double cream plain yogurt from Clover. Just plain amazing. Welcome back. Uh, your timing is perfect as we mm. dive into the world of entertainment news. A couple of really interesting stories and I suppose some to renew our faith. Yeah. And, and maybe just to bring them down a peg or two because we love to see the stars that we love just coming down a rung or two. Uh, but we are, uh, of course, tracking some stories that do inspire us as well. And the first we find on Instagram. Nia Long, oh, she's got the face. In fact, her face card is still valid. So in a <laughs> stunning Instagram post, the legendary actress showed us her face card that is still your, valid your. at the age of 53 Stop. years old. That is crazy. Showing off, obviously, a flawless face, as you can see, glowing skin, long, healthy hair once again, as she served effortlessly in a gorgeous selfie. That's crazy, Is that, is that my eyes? Has she, has she gotten younger? Is she looking younger? Yeah, I know. She's, <laughs> what yeah. the heck? You're younger. Amazing. Well, look, fans on social media obviously yeah. crazy with the compliments and comparing her old pictures with the current selfie, proving the point that she's aging like fine wine. Definitely indeed. I mean, wow! She looks younger now. She does. But this is the thing about looking after yourself huh? that we're always going on about. It's not like a, we're not trying to do these, you know, public yeah. service announcements. Actually, actually trying to say, <laughs> when you look after yourself, you make sure that your life is long. 
Like Mia Long. Like like this Mia's, makes sense. Don't, don't, have a, don't have a long face at the end of your yeah. long life, OK? That's a, don't be... Do, and so sometimes, and I've been telling you about this this whole morning, gender reveals, they Please, great. You know, what so, happened? Yeah. I've heard about so many fails there. There was one where there was actually a plane crash in one of them. No. Oh, I'm yeah. serious. It was, <laughs> but this one is different. Former Miss World and Miss South Africa, Rowling uh -huh. Strauss, our good friend, confirmed we that love her. she was pregnant uh, a little while back, and you know this now, and she recently posted a cute gender reveal video that had a tricky start but ended up with a cute celebration with her <laughs> family just enjoying you know a growing family is great but i feel like you should take a look at this little blunder oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 84 percent you said it's going to be a girl let's see who's right oh. Neil, are you on team boy or team girl <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Innocent and hopeful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when boys get involved. Oh. <laughs> in the face, in the headshot. That was in the neck. A headshot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this poor woman. <laughs> Oh shit, Daniel just <laughs> just watches on. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Eventually. You know, <laughs> for their sins, it's another boy. Yeah, it's a boy. Is it a boy? Okay, well, after all that uh, shit, headshots, uh, neck shots, you know. Oh, Rolene, what's this yammer? What's this yammer? Yeah, she took one for the team. No, she did. She did. Uh, it, it definitely puts a new saying to like your body goes through some things when you have a new kid. You know what I mean? Listen, the story's continuue. We've got another one coming at you right now. Offense, Primo Baloy. If you don't know the name, well, get to know it right now. We're talking about the son of the soccer legend, Lucas Radebe. Yes, Mr. Ru in the building, and he's been becoming one of South Africa's fast-growing content creators with his funny social media skits. Have you seen anything? <laughs> well, you've been living under a rock because he yes. recently shared another hilarious video about people who are born in the month of January, which is known as a kind of bit of a dry month, especially when it comes to finances after the festive season. So <laughs> take a look at this. I'm sure you can resonate. So that's in honor of you, girl. Yep. Oh, Sorry, Zoe. Love... 29 oh. Jan, her birthday's coming up. I'm going to get you a roll with a candle in it for your birthday. Uh, I love it, man. He's on a roll, <laughs> just like our Tyler. So let's see the latest big name connection here. So the American singer Justin Timberlake was spotted singing the hit single Water ha! by none other than South African super superstar Tyler. Just take a look at this. It speaks volumes. Mm. I think she did it better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, no one yeah. can match up to our Tyler. But listen, sure. if, it, if it raises the bankability, we'll do it. And of course, Tyler heading to Coachella. Mm. She is taking over the world right now. We love that. And speaking of taking over the world, our studio has been taken over by all sorts of new percolating oh, smells. Oh, yes. You've also been smelling, something, smelling good. Something's, smelling going, good. On, but Something is going on, man. Something different, though. Yeah. Something different yeah. about it, for sure. Now, I know for all our aficionados, uh, hold on to your taste buds because a mysterious bucket <gasps> has been delivered to us, and we're about to find out what KFC oh, has no. in store are we having, for you. Are we having a bucket of... Ooh, no. It's just I think you could go for it. For oh, breakfast. Oh, love this. Oh, no, oh, no you joking. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, I hope I've got one of each. Hey, I like a nice mix spread in my bucket. Enjoy. A bucket yeah. full, well, thank you, full of finger-licking good. 
This came from Colonel Sanders himself, eh? Can you see it? He signed yes, it himself. Yes, he did indeed. All right, so oh, is this probably what? just like a bucket of chicken? What do you reckon? Must be, dude. Must be, right? Best Surely. breakfast ever. All right, let's get some suspense music in there and then... What is this? I feel Wait, like I've what? gone into a new Are you? dimension. Are you... What? Welcome to Great Taste. What world is this? All right. Is it, ready, gents? Is it a leg? Is it a wing? Tom, tom, tom. It'll get you flying. Look at that. What? <laughs> wow. Hello. 100% Arabica beans. Dun, dun, dun. Did you ever think? Uh, so admittedly, we didn't see this coming. I thought, I, honestly, I thought we were going to get We should have known because we didn't crispy. smell the Colonel's what? spices. That's why no it's not finger licking good chicken, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is indeed a cup of KFC coffee, and we are about to try their bold new taste. And it is bold just from the smell. I'm relieved that the original chicken recipe stays the same, though. You can still get your bucket of chicken whenever you want it. <laughs> that is delicious. Have a little no, I'm, I'm a bit of a snob. When it comes to coffee, this is so good. I think good. South Africa's gonna lose their mind. Now you can get chicken and coffee in the same place. Come on. You can get breakfast, you can get chicken, you can get coffee. Yeah. The sleek new cup. I know. It's like a, a it really looks like I want to wear a black suit now. <laughs> you know? So, so it's gonna be expected when you go to work with this thing. That's what I'm saying, but yeah. you can smell like it's really great quality. It's not just like let's put coffee on the menu as I mean, not to mention, but you know, some restaurants just put coffee on the menu for the sake of putting coffee on the menu. This is really oh, it's good. It's not stuff. a gap filler, yeah. No, no yeah. it's not it's a gap filler. That's good, but what do you think about the taste? I, I'm loving it. Bold, mm -hmm. okay, Go. new and improved. We taste uh -huh. a lot of coffee on the oh, show. Yes. It needs to be strong. And generally, when you get coffee kind of from a place that you're used to getting your fast food fix from, you don't expect it to be this nuanced, to have a, oh. a flavor that's this bold. It's very mm. good. I love it. Like you say, it's not just filling a spot on the menu. It has a prime place you, on that menu. I think I you're going to be spending a lot more time there because there's a couple options here, right? There's a cappuccino, there's a latte, you've got black, and you've also got some exciting flavors. I'm talking about like things like vanilla and hazelnut, Paul. Yeah. It, it is. Can hey, you yeah. imagine? Vanilla, chocolate, it's and hazelnut. It's made for us. <laughs> hazelnut. Yeah, we oh. actually are the flavors, so if you're looking for uh, the good price point, uh, it's really unbeatable at the moment. Starting from just twenty-three ninety, oh, you nice. can even grab wow. a tall cappuccino uh, for only twenty-seven ninety. Mm. I often go for tall; it's a thing. And now that's what I call a bold <laughs> sip without breaking the bank. Come on! They could have oh. filled the whole thing with the coffee. Though. I think they could have done <laughs> that. The they could have just yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we want you to listen up because we've got to extend the love. Yeah, mm -hmm. KFC are giving away a Brecky Crunch wrap, which we know is delicious. We've had them on the show, and then a cappuccino voucher to seven lucky viewers this morning. If you want to enter, please um, reply to our competition post. That's on the Expresso Facebook X or Instagram page. Yep. And tell us what you love most about the bold new taste brought to you by KFC. It is yeah. really good. Now, do not forget to use the hashtag bold new taste. The new competition closes midday tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. So what are you waiting for? Your T's and C's can be found at expressoshow.com. And uh, while we wait for the winner, I'm going to sip on this good stuff right here. I'm going to walk yes, around with this bucket for some street food the whole day. <laughs> I'm just going to walk around. I love that. Oh, a bold new taste indeed. Beautiful. We in the ground, no time, no Try KFC's bold new cappuccino for only $27.90. So it's all about the detox. Um, and of course, if you're heading into res, pretty much um, every morning is detox from the <laughs> night before, I would imagine. Or needed. Um, yeah, and of course, there are budgetary constraints as well. Uh, Chef Clem is going to bring you some amazing res culinary hacks in a moment. And of course, we got bars, and if yeah. you good breakfast show all the time, but uh, sober bars. You'll find out more about that in the next couple of moments. You just dropped the bar, no? I did, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, so Zanzi, welcome back. It's your feel-good breakfast show. Honestly, I've never felt this healthy before. We have ticked so many boxes. And we're going to take another one right now, especially if you are ramping up your detox. Now, we've been exploring the concept of detoxing for 2024, from moving your body to cupping to eating healthier. But what about detoxing your liver and going sober? Yeah, sounds crazy, right? But listen to this. Non-alcoholic drinks really have made such an impact in the industry, with many big brands making non-alcoholic alternatives from beers, ciders, and even and spritz. Now, one thing that is really starting to trend is a sober bar. Yes, you heard correctly. Now, we've got Del Parker here, the co-owner of Attic by Bovine, and it's Camps Bay, which in, is in Camps Bay. Yeah. And uh, he's going to be joining us this morning to shed some light on this topic. A lot of you have some questions, raising your eyebrows. What do you mean a sober bar? Well, let's get straight into it. Del, how are you doing, man? Fine, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm excited about this. One, because I love the fact that you're providing options for people, mm -hmm. especially those that don't want to consume alcohol. And I think with our knowledge right now, alcohol is really becoming a red flag when it comes yeah. to our health, when it comes to enjoying longevity, mm -hmm. reducing inflammation. So let's talk about, firstly, yeah. what is a sober bar? Well, it's basically a bar that there's no alcohol, okay. but um, it has to be the next level mixology where you're not just getting given a soft drink, you're actually mm. getting a few ingredients that's actually taken a while to make. They're created for you on the spot, just like a cocktail, except there's no alcohol. So we okay. mimic quite a few things without alcohol, like apple cider vinegars or shrubs or like teas that's been seeping for two, three weeks as opposed to just boiling it in a kettle. So it's like next level mixology, but no alcohol. Okay, hold up now. You're definitely getting my interest <laughs> peaked here because what I'm used to is going to the bar and saying, listen, can I get a non-alcoholic sort of a drink? Uh, I like maybe, let's say, a whiskey on the rocks with some ice, maybe in the water. Now I'm going to get a non-alcoholic version of that. I get a water. No, you get ice. <laughs> get ice. <laughs> exactly, man. Or, you get know, a nice cube of ice but, with the stamp on it. There you go. Yeah, and that's the thing. There's no creativity and no. it's just like taking the alcohol out and whatever's left over, there you go. Yeah. So this is very different to that, yeah. right? Yeah. How are people receiving this? Has it become a little bit more popular? Is there a growing demand for this type of thing? I think it's thing? growing. It's growing a lot. Mm. Especially with the, the younger generation. I'd say from like 19 to 25, they, they've probably seen us getting so drunk, thinking, yeah. mm, maybe not Why so much. Why would you, you know? do that? What's the point? So they yeah. actually like explored that option. A lot of them coming through and asking us um, like really cool, in intelligent questions, like how long did it take you to seep your cold brew, for example, and you tell them oh, that. Oh, wow. And they're, okay. they're impressed. Yeah. They're impressed. And it's actually quite cool. I like to see it. So this is a very different kind of experience, but something similar to what you can expect in yeah. terms of, let's say, the subtle nuances, as G would always mention, when it comes to being at a bar, socializing, having a, a vibe, having a yeah. good time, but without harming the body as much with alcohol, right? So yeah. Yeah. let's get into this. You've got something you can demo because it looks like we see lots of colors here. I see so, yeah. all, the, all the tools that you need, but uh, how do we put this together? What do you got for us? Okay, so you, you can choose right now. What we can do is we can go quite fruity. I've got a cranberry extract. Ginger beer syrup that I've Ooh, made. Okay. Fresh lemon juice and aquafaba. Aquafaba is chickpea brine. It gives you nice foam and changes chickpea the mouth texture. Chickpea brine? Yeah, we, instead no. of egg white, you know, we have to... Okay, nice. I like that. And I love the sound of that, yeah. The other one is um, one of our personal favorites at the Attic, which is uh, getting launched on the 14th of Feb. Um, Valentine's Day. Of course. Day. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a salted caramel espresso. Martini. Oh, um, and everyone in the studio has just gone, mm. I heard that, I heard that. I think we're going to go that way. <laughs> okay, let's hit it. So everything would be pretty standard in terms of your uh, mixing right now. These are typical yeah. bar skills that you'd see when it comes to shaking, stirring, Absolutely, yeah. the works, right? Yeah, we can put some fancy pours if we want to look cool. Nice. All the little tricks. Yeah. The speed pour actually doesn't work, we just make it look cool. <laughs> I like that. But look, let's be honest, I mean, when you're at a bar, it's not about just rushing to get a drink. You want that experience. You yeah. want that sort of entertainment value as well, knowing Absolutely. that there's some sort of magic that's been put into your drink that you're about to put in your body. So this is definitely doing that. And as you can see, we're using muscovada sugar, all natural. Okay. And then this is a cold brew coffee that I did over about a day and a half. A cold? So, so, What's the difference between a normal so coffee and cold brew? So basically, we, we put the coffee beans into a nice little percolator and it only gets cold water and then it sits in the fridge for about 48 hours afterwards just to uh, pull those flavors in okay and then the magic we'll talk about this just now oh we will all right so i'm not allowed to ask right now everybody's dying to know what on earth is he putting in there <laughs> very simple we'll tell okay. you it's um, basically a high concentrated molten salt solution 
mold and salt You know, like solutions. that old uh, thing with um, your chocolate milkshake, you put some salt in it. Ah, yes, same so thing. is that doing the same thing? Yeah, all yeah. right. Now, I'm, I'm more interested in seeing what we're going to taste from this. Is there anything, though, that it's associated with, let's say, a feeling of any sort? Is there something that you can expect from a mood enhancement, or is it more just really enhancing the flavour and the experience of the drink? It's more enhancing the flavour, and obviously, you know, put together, you're going to get little flavour pockets. It needs always to be balanced. So you have to have the bitterness, the sweetness, the tartness, and then you're happy. All right, well, I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to be happy after this because it looks like the show is on the go. Look at that consistency. What color is that even? Like a creamy orange? What is that? Yeah, it's getting there. It'll still be the coffee color. Okay. The scar, the ice, this is going to be called the dry shake just to really puff up as you can see what's happening in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. Okay. We love foam. <laughs> and I'm always interested to see, like, you get that foam layer, you get a little bit of colour, yeah, yeah. it's like a glass Guinness or something. Except non-alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, I love that, exactly that. Okay, so is there a sort of method to what you're doing right now in terms of how you're shaking this to, to further enhance it? Or is it just kind yeah, of just as long wild? as you're getting a good dilution and you're not really melting too much of the ice. You saw I shook quite hard, but yeah. the ice was still quite solid. You don't want too much water playing with your flavours. Dil okay. Dilute it a bit. And, and, and dare I ask, because I don't want to undermine the skill and the work and the expertise that you have, but this is something that I would love to possibly even replicate for my guests at home. You got any tips on, like, how we could maybe... I know we're not going to get as fancy as this, but is there sort of any sort of basic recommendations yeah. on how we could start doing our own sober bar at home and start encouraging our we, guests to not necessarily If you're getting good equipment, you know, the equipment's always the number one. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. So man, get a good equipment, fancy. come join us at the Attic, and we're actually going to start a really cool, like, little culture. We're okay. going to call it the Chronicles of the Attic, where people are going to get together. We're going to obviously teach people to make cocktails and mocktails, and obviously just your balancing of flavors, that's what it all boils down to. If you, like, know that coffee actually does go with orange juice and grapefruit juice, you can mix it. If you didn't ah, know that, you'd never try it. You'd never try it, yeah. Sometimes also just wing it, you know? Make something, <laughs> take a sip, so not serving I, I, I think the recommendation here, especially for you, Mzanzi, is definitely head out to the attic if you want to replicate and experience this, firstly, but also maybe learn a few things and get educated. And someone that I know is always interested in getting his flavor oh, profile right, enhanced, um, g -Man. Has the party started already? Yeah, it looks right, like it, guys. A, a, a half familiar scene, although there's no alcohol here, maybe? Um, I love day. it, but hey, this is a breakfast <laughs> show. We've been waiting for this opportunity. Opportunity, buddy, you don't understand. The stars have aligned. I love it. What did you make first off? Okay, so that's a oh. salted caramel espresso martini with no alcohol. I'll try that out. Give it a go. Yeah, oh, I love it. Obviously, I uh, put only a half just in case you didn't want. So that dust is also coffee salted caramel. I'm going to give him time to think about this because G beautiful. is a coffee aficionado on top of that. Oh, and I know he's that frequented is a bar. beautiful. Mm. It sounds crazy. There's a little bit of acidity yeah. in there, but it doesn't kind of break the flow of that flavor. Mm. That is an experience in a glass. It's yeah. not just a taste. That like yeah, yeah. It, it wakes up your body. That <laughs> is incredible. Can you see yourself ordering one of these at the bar? Mm. Well, it looks like a cocktail, so you'll get away with it. It does, yeah, it does. And Especially it, with the suit, it's a perfect it uh, match. It like a cocktail. A bit of James Bond, eh? <laughs> no, dude, I'll take it. <laughs> well done. Oh, that is Oh, well, thank you so much. This is yeah. absolutely incredible stuff. I mean, for me, the fact that it looks the part, uh, clearly tastes incredible. It's that an experience nonetheless. Magnificent. I think we need to make a, a booking at the Attic for I'm sure. sure. Get I'll be back. Thanks, and uh, this is definitely something that I'm inviting into this new era of health. Mm. I think we can all still be a part of the conversation, a part of the vibe, the gears and the experience, but we don't have to compromise our health. Correct. And that is what stands out right here, right now. So, yep. Tell, thank you for coming through. I'm looking forward to so much, much more of this when it comes to the Attic. Listen, we've got a little bit of time and I know that we've already got so many comments coming through. People are getting excited. Can we quickly whip up no one, one more just to get the health box tick? You spoke about some incredibly exciting ingredients. You talked about a citrus fruity infusion there. Yeah. That's going to tick my box, so I'm going to be uh, dying to taste that. Can we put it up quick? Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh, yes, quick, please. Quick. One more, as they say, Barman. One more. Last <laughs> round. Last round. Last <laughs> one. Actually, hold on a second. We can actually do it. This is a bell jigger. Just uh, knock that with the spoon and it's like a bell. Knock that with the spoon. All right. Everybody, attention. Everyone at the bar. Last rounds! <laughs> it's official. All right, so talk to me about the ingredients you're popping okay, into this Fresh one. lemon juice, mm -hmm. cranberry extract. Okay. You don't have to get too fancy, you just get frozen cranberries. Okay. Um, put it into a console jar, a nice big one. Put some sugars, let it sit for 48 hours, and then put it in a thermomix. Thermomix is a very cool equipment. Basically, it gets to about 50 degrees and spins at the same time. Oh, wow. Do that for 45 minutes, take it out, and then you rest it, and then you 
she's cross-strained it, and you get this beautiful liquid coming out. There's a little bit of science going in here as well. Yeah. That is what's up. Okay, so lemon juice gone in, cranberries, cranberries gone, gone in. Cranberries gone in. Ginger. Gingers. Oh, yeah, this is something I'm really interested in. And then my favorite, a little bit of aquafaba. Aquafaba. Chickpea is that brown. something you can, like, just taste on, your, on its own? Does it yeah, taste quite weird? you can if you want. I'm dying to have, yeah, a, have little a little smidge of it. Can I pop it into Actually, uh, pop it in one of these glasses? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Take that one, yeah. I'm dying to just see you. I've never experienced this. I've never heard about this. It is wild and clear. It's an ingredient that must be used. It's like a Whoa, salient yes. little bit of a... But it's, but it's weird. It's not like... It, it's not overpowering. No. It's a good balance. It almost reminds you of that sort of um, peatiness, I think, that you might get from... Is it a whiskey or is it a... I, I don't know what it is. Maybe my mind's just going crazy with the flavors. You could say but whiskey, but yeah, not really. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like a malted vibe to it, but it's definitely not that. I'm just losing my mind from all the great flavors that are going on right now. And it clearly is an experience, well, as you can Well, it's better than... Um, Egg white, because we used to use egg white a lot, but obviously being like a lot of the, the vegans have grown and all that, and also just the smell, you know, it's mm. hot. You know, Cape Town at the moment next next week, it's, what, 38 degrees oh, almost every day. pushing to the 40s, yeah. So all of a sudden you've got this beautiful cocktail and you're having a nice conversation or mocktail and the next thing, I smell something, it's your egg white going. So I'd rather just skip it and go <laughs> aquafaba. Especially with the Cape Town heat, all <laughs> right. So listen, we're getting thirsty. We're about to get this last... Um, we, we, what do you actually call these? Are they mocktails? Um, yeah, you could call them mocktails mm -hmm. or just a nice drink experience. An experiential drink like no other. I'm about to dive into this one. We first just made something that was infused with a little bit of an espresso. G-Man ticked the box massively on that and we've quickly rounded up with one more drink. It's got a citrus infusion to it. It's a lot of fun and like we said no alcohol here whatsoever no. we're talking about sober bars it's a massive trend in the moment and i think it's going to be a growing one and dale has just put all his expertise his knowledge and a little bit of science into this and for our absolute pleasure go. dale thank you so much Zanzi, cheers to you i cheers, hope you guys, get thanks. to experience a healthy body and a healthy mind with this one mm. oh yeah I can see myself on the script <laughs> enjoying this one. Cheers, bravo, Dale. Thank Cheers. you so much for coming through. One. Mzanzi, officially we can tick the box on Sober Bars, and I'm here for it. Oh, this is good, man. Good, nice. Good, good. Mm. Bravo. <laughs> Yum. And I mean, Ryle also tasted aquafaba, which is fantastic. <laughs> Honestly, it is. But now that we got the, the drink sorted, the motto for 2024 should be to give recognition and appreciation for those who carried us through 2023. Oh, and sure. thanks to Panado, we get to share special cash prizes of 2,000 rand each to these loving sisters as the recipients of our final festive dose of care. Oh, man, we've loved this campaign. So we want to give a massive and heartfelt congratulations to two incredible women, Vanashri Pillay and Saloshni Naidu. Can we give them a big round of applause? Yes, Queen! Um, and before we connect with them, I'm going to read you this dedication, and this came courtesy of Vanashri. She commented this. I nominate Saloshni Naidu. She has always been there for me, especially through the unforgettable 2023 year, from chemotherapy to operations, but I'm still here, oh, wow. thanks to all the support from family and friends. It was another level of pain. Hashtag power to fight pain. Hashtag Panado SA. Boy, has this campaign not come to a perfect head. And we've got these ladies on the line right now. A very good morning, ladies. How are you? Well, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. I'm well. <laughs> That's good. Everybody as well. Now, Vanashri, I would love to chat to you for a second. Chemotherapy is a difficult process. Uh, but do you have yes. any words of encouragement for anybody who might go through this uh, very, very difficult time this year? And also tell us a bit more about how your sister inspired you to continue fighting. Oh, well, the first thing is first to not listen to anybody that tells you not to have the treatment or not to... Uh, what to expect. Everybody has their own experience. So I was basically scared when I went in, but uh, when you're in the process itself, it's, uh, it's quite uh, simple. You just need to relax and stay positive and everything will be fine. So uh, that's, that's the positivity for chemo. Just stay fine and, and always be positive and know that you are going to survive. 
Wow. Um, I love that mental strength. And I know this comes the, on the back of a battle. So it is so good yeah. to hear these sentiments from you, especially the love that you've expressed for Saloshni. So I'm going to yeah. move on to you, Saloshni. I, I want you to Hi. please explain to us, first of all, how it feels to hear these words actually being spoken and what motivated you? Why was it so important to you to support your sister through this? Oh, that's so emotional. That makes me so emotional. <laughs> uh, she has actually been so positive and she's shown so much of bravery. Over the years, she's always been there for everyone. So all we could do was show her emotional support and let her know that we all are there for her. Wow. And yeah, we are so proud of her for everything that she's overcame. I'm proud of both of you. You know, Graham and I were sitting here and we're holding back a lot, but we don't want to hold back too much with regard to what we have to tell. Should we tell them? Yes, please. Okay, let's tell them. Uh, you have won Saloshni, Vinashri. All right? It's more like a gift from Panado. Uh -huh. 2,000 Rand each wow. for your inspiration and your vulnerability and your sharing. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I love the fact that you guys have put yourselves out there. You have made that dedication of love, that nomination of care. Is there anything you'd like to say to this side of the family, because we are your family now, about this campaign, about having the opportunity to express yourself and give that dose of care? What has this experience been like for you? Uh. I just want to tell everybody that's in pain, and I just want to thank the Expresso family for everything that they have done, and we absolutely love your show. Oh. And to always be positive. That's the aim for 2024. I love it. We are going to jump on that train and we ain't getting off. <laughs> um, we love the oh fact that God. you have proven to us the power of these kinds of bonds and what just a little bit of care can mean if given at the right, the critical moment. So thank you so much for inspiring us this morning and enjoy spending your 2,000 Rand on yourselves because it has to be. That's the only byline. It's got to be spent <laughs> on yourselves because you seem like too generous to do that. Um, but we love you, yeah. ladies. Thank you so much for being a part of what it's been an, the most so amazing campaign. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. And I mean, that's a great thing. Collaborations are important, like our, our collaboration with Panado. And I mean, mm. we've gotten to make this festive season a memorable one for many, thanks to our co uh, collaboration with Panado, giving us the power to fight pain. And we hope we've inspired you to share care wherever you go. Introducing Panado Pediatric Syrup 5 ml sachets. They're really convenient to pack and easy to use, so you're always prepared for pain and fever, anytime, anywhere. Well, don't mind me, I'm just enjoying my experience right now, but uh, of course, Dale is not going anywhere because he's going to be sharing and showing you how you can create your own experience and showcase how to put together one of these incredible drinks. And then the man himself is standing by too. Of course, we've got that hack coming through, right? You're going back to your dorm or you're starting university, I've got all the hacks for you when it comes to equipment that you need. Oh, yes, and then the entertainment box is going to be ticked one more time because Drumstruck are standing by. They are ready to give us the power, the energy, the gears, and everything else that we came for right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. So what that means is, Mzanzi, you don't need to go anywhere. Chef Clem, you need a drink, right? Of course. All right, we need to prep one for this man. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Let's go.
Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on S3. And I know that you may be heading back to Varsity quite soon, but you should do it without hassle. This is why Woolworths is keeping it quick and easy, like all students should do, of course. No stress, only focusing on the work. The other stuff should be chilled. And this is why key kitchen essentials and storage solutions are so vital. And it's going to change your student life. So Chef Clem, he's a life changer on his own already anyway. He's got a couple of res hacks for us so we can get back to university in the best way possible. So the academic here, do you remember when you were in tertiary? Yes, yeah, only five years ago. Five years ago? Yeah. Why are you uh, laughing? Okay. Who was that in the background? No, did, we, did you hear that? Ah, uh, Nikki! Did you hear that? All right. Like, ah. Catch me outside. All right. Okay, cool. Yes. I do remember. And the one thing I do remember is that, yeah. um, especially with um, friends living in the dorms, space was the biggest thing. And you can't just bring one item into your space that does one job. Versatility was key. See, this is the, what I'm talking about because the thing is, that's how you become disorganized. That's how things find their way into different spots. Yeah. This is why people take, took their toothbrush out of the top drawer of the desk. It's like that. So let's okay. get organized. Let's yeah. try and focus because the thing is, you know, psychologically, an organized space promotes an air of focus. And if you go to that organized space, trust me, that spillover will go onto your work and other parts of your yeah. life. So let's get organized. Because I'm, I'm like that in the dramatic sense. If my space around me is cluttered, not tidy, not organized, I'm a, I'm a, wreck. I'm a wreck, I'm a mess. So organizing, definitely. And that, first for me, is Tupperware. Guys, if you got these storage containers, you remember back in the day when they used to have these little parties, get together and the cataloging, you pick your containers? Yes. I wish it was back, because I, I want to be invited to those. I love it. I, honestly, storage containers are the most amazing thing for me, especially the vacuum sealed ones. You don't just use it for food. That's the thing. That's the very, thing. Very, very true. You use it for so many other, uh, other little jobs around the space, but what you do need is a nesting set. Don't be having sets or containers that don't fit into each other. You want things to nest, so you can put all of it into one space. It reminds you of that... Um, the little, know, little, that Russian little Russian doll. Russian doll, doesn't it? Hey? I was gonna it's do like, that. now I mean, it's like <laughs> you. Hey, let's do it, right? <laughs> let's start with you, and let's go. Like that! Hey. It was Russian doll together. You thought you were coming for the hacks, you came for the entertainment. So another thing that we do, this is what we do at yes. home, is we've got we've got this exact set. So we've made oh, little first this. aid little first aid kits. Little first aid kits are amazing, so you always know where it is. Can I lift this up? Sorry, Please I do. Ask I'm blocking you your view. This. What we've done is we've created little first aid kits out of it. We've created a load shedding unexpected, like where's the bigger one? This one. This is what we use for our load shedding. Like when we, we're not ready for but it. This, this is all in the same buck. Matches, candles, <laughs> extra uh, plasters in here, even a battery bank we keep in here for just emergencies. Then you've got to think about, even though you're a student, you're entering the big world now, you've got to start keeping your slips and things, you know, you, as you're spending. I'm, I'm sorry, it's real. The containers are there for that. Plus, obviously, they're there for your food and your snacks and your lunch. Wow. Don't forget to be packing your lunches, especially in university, because you don't want to be spending yes. money on lunch. Pack your lunch. So the nesting set's absolutely amazing. A utility basket. You're like, what's a basket for? What's a basket not for? That's my question. So it these things are really useful. great. So let's think about what you can put in here. So if you're a bougie student, you can mm -hmm. put coffee pods in here. We? Oui. Yes. Right? Or you could do utensils. That's fine, mm -hmm. right? You could do utensils in this thing. You could also put in documents, right? Absolutely. Little things because the paper can fold around and it can look nice mm -hmm. on the desk as well. And what, what else I, would you put in there? So um, definitely, you, you, you mentioned a lot of things. I would like go uh, like your your on desk stationery sets that you just you, things you know you need. Very cool. And it's, it's not a coincidence that this is mesh. I like the fact that this is a storage solution. You can actually see what's inside there. You yeah. don't want to be circling to find things. Yes. Get the mesh one. These are so amazing. It's, it's weird. You end up just using it for a lot of things, little baskets. Okay, then... Looks good. If you're going to get a knife, make sure that knife is a quality knife. It doesn't always have to be a chef knife, but it needs to be a utility knife that you can chop with. Yeah. You don't need to buy a whole massive set and collection. Go for quality knives. You either get one good chef knife or one utility knife, and it does a lot of work. It's going to do all the chopping, all the slicing. Get, there we go. A good quality knife. You're a student. Essential. Right? You use this for everything. Think about it. You're going to butter your bread with a knife. You're going to bread You're going to cut yeah. the bread with a knife. It's, a, it's now also a screwdriver. It is. It's now also something you need to, you know, open your packages. Or, so get a good knife, so and I true. promise you. Then a grater, surprising, you're going to be... So, don't get caught out without a grater. Use it not just for cheese. You use it for, like, nuts and any other... I say garnishes, but just... You use it a lot in res, okay? Get a grater. Don't get the big box one. Yeah, yeah. Get the smaller ones that have the little storage unit at the bottom. So you can literally just cover this and put the whole thing in the fridge. And if less you have mess to. to clean up. You want to focus on schoolwork. Less mess. Okay. Right. 
Let's talk about a drying up rack. Don't be loading dishes and stuff just on your desk on a towel. Where'd the towel come from? When last did you do laundry? Sisa. Get a, get a drying up rack. I only thought about that now because yeah. now obviously all the rims of the glasses are on top of this towel. The towel hasn't been washed in eight years. <laughs> Fine. No, let's not do get that. Get a drying up no. rack. The drying no. up rack, it's a. Uh, here's what I'm actually going to say. But this as well. actually looks good so that it sits well in a counter yeah. and doesn't look like clutter. Exactly. Um, true story. I have one of these on my desk at home. I do stationary, stationary, Paperwork. laptop, tablet, da 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 da, everything in there. This section over here for extra stationary because your your tablet and your laptop fits perfectly in here. Sinjay, stop! I don't lie. I don't lie. So this is really yes, you this thought it was great. perfect for your kitchen, but this on your desk, you have no idea how versatile this thing is. Plus, if you're gonna do the old station yeah, yeah. revive, you've got this. Okay, this is what I also this is what I use as a drying up rack as well. Catches all the excess water, but also you got a tray. Yes. What don't you need a tray for? Carl wakes up in the morning, a little bricky, in his lap, a little it. snacky snack. Don't think just one purpose of it. Try and work out ways, other ways you can use these items. Now, instead of going and mixing and matching, buying a, little, buying a whisk here, buying yeah. a tin opener here, just get the 25 piece utensil set. Everything you need is inside here already. This. And again, it's um, the slimline one, because if you're storing it in, a, in a tight spaces, this fits, okay? We're thinking about space and practicality and versatility. This one, absolute must. Everything you need, what's in here? I approve. There's a masher, there's a spatula, there's a spoon, there's measuring cups, there's a, there's a, a bottle opener, there's clips in here, there's everything you need. Just, you know what, buy this and gift it to someone who's going, to, going back to, to university. Very quickly, wrap up cookware. Yes, cookware. Cookway. Go stainless steel, go stainless steel because it's easier to clean. Don't go massive, big um, cookware, go for the size yeah. stainless, stainless steel, go for the smaller pots if you do one. And I know I just said don't go massive. If you are gonna go big, get a skillet, okay? Skillet's great, shorter handles, doesn't take up too many too much space. It serves the job of a pan and a pot for what you're gonna need it for. Nice. Get these essentials. Cool. You're gonna be rocking it on, on, on res. This is what you need. And, and I the, trust you, this this one, the hack of your laptops and your tablets. That's what I you're gonna do. I love that. You're giving us all these res hacks. In fact, here's another hack for you. If you wanna get some great stuff, I've just heard. They sent me a message, 20% off two kitchen items. What? That uh, till the 20, till the 4th of February, 2024. So they did, they just sent me these things. This is what I love about live TV. So you can shop this offer at Woolworths Naturally, available in store online as well as on the app. And remember, T's and C's apply. Get the res hacks now. Go to Woolworths. The difference. I'm going to say it. Today is your day to oh, yeah. make your move and play Lotto, Lotto Plus One and Lotto Plus Two. Why? Because 29 million Ooh. rand is up for grabs in the total estimated jackpot. Yeah, Ooh. now Lotto is estimated at 13 million rand, wow. Lotto Plus at 9 million rand and Lotto Plus Two at 7 million rand. But as always, the only way to stand a chance of winning is if you buy a ticket and play. Yes, and for the millionth time, we're going to say it again. This is how you can do it. Please take it on board. You can buy your tickets in store on their website, nationallottery.co.za, the mobile app, your cell phone, banking, or simply by dialing star 120 star 7529 hash for the USSD. Yeah, now we even made it easier for you because we've posted all the details on our social media channels. So you can go check them out right now and make your move. The question is, will you win the millions? I'll panda push up play to find out. Uh, now we've been left dumbstruck by Drumstruck and they're performing again just for you on the other side of this.
Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here in S3. Just making a little bit of a mocktail here before we get into our final performance of the morning. And naturally, we're just putting a couple of things there. There's a Moscovado going in here. Okay, Ooh, this is going to be sugar. great. Yeah, we needed Ooh, the sugar. This is going to be so good. So we're making a little bit of, uh, I'm going to call it an like espresso sours. That's what we're doing here. Oh, yes, we're doing like some that. Malden uh, salt solution as well going in there. And then we are going to just mix it up for you. While we mix things up, Drumstruck have been mixing up an incredible performance for you. So we're going to shake it together as they shake you into the end of the show here in S3. Thank it's Drumstruck. I love it. Come on, come on. Mzanti, I present to you Drumstruck Marimba Band. Next level. Now we're gonna give you a Midlands type of vibe, a 50s upbeat jive. Let's take it away. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, I know. Mzansi, brace yourself. Now we're switching things. Ha! Anyway, now, ladies and gentlemen, exclusive from Drumstruck Marimba Band, we go in Western on Marimba. Give it to me, Zama. How is that? I'm gonna give you a beautiful melody. Woo! Sister Mposa. I know. Singing for you. Summertime, man. Just summertime. from Clover. Just plain amazing. Another feel-good production. Yeah. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Sean, 
she's gone. And no sunshine when she's gone. Anytime.